Okay, right, we're back. This is some DCSS. I just turned the uh, recording on for YouTube again after a few technical difficulties, but it seems like we are in business now. Uh, this is the Hermit Crab of Chabriados, like I was saying. Um, this is a request from Tony. We've uh, got these mutations um, and permanent spells, I guess, semi-permanent. Uh, we cannot have our structure altered by mutations, um, and we have less encumbrance, uh, like I said a minute ago, which is great because that means we're probably going to end up wearing a bit of armor. Uh, right now we've got troll leather armor on. That could be... Uh, Later on, that could maybe become some dragon armor or something without too much trouble. Uh, every time I eat anything, I have been mutating uh, due to a pledge that Tony requested that I take called uh, Peer Pressure. Uh, the guys who make Goon Crawl apparently really like uh, mutations, so this is right up their alley, really. In fact, I think this whole fork exists because of the fact that Mainline took away mutation, uh, purple, purple mutation meat a while ago. Like, that was the straw that broke the camel's back for them. Uh, it's been a little while since I've played this character, maybe a week. Um, I know that I was asked to try to use as many new spells from Goon Crawl as possible. Uh, unfortunately, all I've found is, is Chill Thread, which is a pretty good spell, to be honest. Um, since we can have it on permanently, it just kind of freezes things that attack me, so I'm kind of like a discount... Uh, I guess I'm like a discount demon spawn at this point. Um, I'm probably going to keep tabbing. It looks like I'm training defenses, and that's uh, that's cool. If nothing spawns, what can you do right? Exactly. Um, we have 99 HP. And we finished lair. So we're just going to go back to dungeon. Let's see. I'm going to... I'm gonna have to guess and say that hermit crabs get very low HP because like I have 10 fighting and I'm level 14 and I have less than 100 HP so I'm guessing it's like maybe 20 20 percent less than than average than human I guess which makes sense I'm I guess I'm like a little tiny crab man uh, star telly uh, I don't I guess it's a swap for R and plus if I really need it, but it's got MR- as well, so probably not going to be wearing that today. What we're going to do is we're going to um, maybe not finish dungeon just yet. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I just realized I'm... <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a Che character. I can't just walk away from these dudes. Uh-oh. Uh... Blink. Yeah, okay. Thankfully, we still, we've got blinks, so we can just do this. Ah, uh, yes, this is what I was abusing. The old, the old meth cloud, mephitic cloud meme. And we've got uh, Arbalest of Freezing, which I'm tempted to just, I'm really tempted to just enchant that. I think I will. I was probably saving my enchants for, uh, for the, for, for a broad axe or something, but I'm not even going to bother. We'll just do this. Now this guy has a disto. Has a disto. Uh, great sword. So we don't want to really risk taking a trip to the abyss, although Mr. Che helps us with that a bit. Do we have our poise? We don't have our poise. I shouldn't be chilling out in my own uh, my own mephitic cloud. Not really. Oh, hello. This could be interesting. Uh, check it out. We're going to do this. He should be happy to walk in, but maybe not. Oh my god, he's not doing it. Okay, we'll take a step. Is their AI different than what I thought? Oh, right. Yeah, uh, gargoyles are not resistant to fire, so he's probably quite afraid considering he only has 27 uh, HP. Why don't we deal with this with uh, the old disintegrate play? I probably shouldn't have been shooting at him because uh, Stone Arrow can actually do quite a bit of damage. I want to say, um, gosh, maybe like 60. Hey, Strider, what's up, man? 
But yeah, I'm gonna be a little bit greedy on this character and just not train weapons for a while until we find something that's uh, maybe like a nice artifact or something. Uh, and we'll try to limit ourselves to um, the spells that we have now, uh, any charms that show up, and... Uh, oh look, I'm confused. Cool. Actually, I should be a little bit more careful. We've got uh, got a we've got a an ogre mage coming up. Um, let's see if that's changed in Goon Crawl. Yeah, he sure has Crystal Spear. Let's just check. Do 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 do. Yeah, three D twenty eight. So he can't one shot me, but it's pretty it's pretty close. Um, more importantly, he's got paralyzed thirty seven percent. It is the funniest thing we could be wielding, and that is, uh, I mean, if you picture a crab wearing that, it's kind of funny, which is one of the reasons why I'm wearing it. If I wanted to be, like, truly optimal right now, we'd be using the broad axe and the shield of protection, probably. But, uh, yeah, we're just doing this for fun. Uh, why don't we go ahead and enslave this guy? Feel a bit more experienced. Wow, I think he just killed the... Uh... <laughs> He actually took out the uh, the ogre mage for me. I'll take that. Doctor Zoidberg with an enchanted scythe. Hell yeah. The plus eight chainmail Uchi. Uh, RC minus, which I don't really want to wear. Encumbrance rating fifteen, so this would kind of mess with our spell casting. Bolt of draining. I have missed that spell. Uh, Bolt of magma. Sigatuvi's embrace. I want to see if Sigatuvi's Embrace actually works the way that I think it works. Nothing appears to happen. Okay, so it's... I was thinking maybe with Goon Crawl's uh, shenanigans we could... We could, like, have it sucking corpses towards us at all times, but it looks like no. That's a shame. That could be really cool. Uh, but yeah, we found a bunch of just ordinary uh, spells. I guess I could. I guess I could learn. Uh, I guess I could learn Bolt of Training just for, just for fun, you know, just for like a blast from the past, you know. But uh, again, it's not like a new special Goon Crawl spell. We could take a look and see what spells... Well, maybe not. I guess I have to put in, a, put in a letter. I just can't hit enter and show myself all the spells. I'm kind of curious what new stuff is in this, you know? Old is the new new. I don't know, man. I, I always thought the Bolt of Draining was a really fun spell. I mean, all the Bolt spells were pretty strong in their own, in their own ways. Even Bolt of Cold was uh, usable. Okay, let's take a step here. Now we know that Blink will take us somewhere decent. Mm. What am I doing? Why am I not just doing this? Maybe we should train some crossbows. <laughs> Just blinking around and uh, shooting our skill zero arbalest at people. It's really uh, a surprisingly legit strategy. Okay, what do we want to do about this fellow? Let's make some flame, yeah? Oh, he's right up next to me. Okay, let's go. You can turn me to stone. That's fine. Oh, maybe I can't be turned to stone. I was in the dust for a little bit. Maybe my shape can't actually be changed at all. It says permanently altered. But... Huh. I don't know. Maybe that was just like a fluke? Is that really... Can't be changed to non-crab flesh. That wouldn't be permanent, though. 
does that mean I can't cast transmutations? Because my uh, the fact that an aptitude exists would suggest otherwise, but who knows with these forks, you know. Uh, what is special about this fork? Well, um, welcome to the stream, Sassano. Um, I said a minute ago that the reason this fork exists is that, um, well, it started to exist because uh, they, they wanted uh, the purple meat to be not removed. Um, after that, they added a bunch of species, like uh, right now we've got a hermit crab that we're playing right now, which is a very interesting, uh, very interesting little species that um, the main draw of it is really the encumbrance minus six, but um, also uh, we're, we're trying to figure out exactly what this means, but I know for, uh, I'm pretty sure that at a minimum it means that I can't, I can't get mutations like uh, horns and things like that. Um, I want to say that uh, Unrand, like uh, fixed fixed artifacts, the uh, the ones with the names that are the same across games, are a lot stronger in this version, which I think is fine. Um, I mean, you you find them rarely enough that I, I think it's not a big deal if they're sort of uh, game breaking, you know. Uh, this is uh, let's see what else. Chill chill thread, I guess uh, we found that this game. That's a uh, spell that's not in mainline. Uh, there's probably some more spells like that. Uh, let's see what else. I know there's I know there's other things. There's older spells that were removed uh, a while ago in mainline that are that are still in this, like Sigatuvi's Embrace. Um, there's like a really big thing about Goon Crawl that I that is slipping my mind right now. Recharge scrolls, yeah, those are just like old old content that uh, is sort of unremoved, you know. Do not melee things. With a plus nine scythe, by the way, <laughs> it's not a good idea. <laughs> uh oh, we might have to stop fooling around because we've got a uh, Tingu warrior with uh, stones that he's throwing at us, and his base damage is like sixteen, so he can do a decent amount to us with those rocks. And this is uh, forked off of an earlier version of DCSS, so we don't get to see what he's um, what he's uh, quivering. So. Man, what was I going to say? I was going to make some kind of comment about Goon Crawl. Oh yeah, the coolest thing about Goon Crawl uh, is that there are these things called pledges, uh, which you which, which you can choose before the game even starts, and it's kind of like the uh, it's kind of like the conducts that people optionally do uh, on on mainline. And uh, the difference is, and this is something I said they should have done years ago, and they just I guess didn't give enough of a shit to do. Uh, but what it is, is it's, uh, it actually is built into the game. So like, for example, I'm taking, uh, the peer pressure pledge, uh, on, on Tony's request. And that means that every time I eat anything, my character mutates. Hence the reason I have all these mutations, uh, which appear to be veering towards the positive. They were negative earlier. Um, anyway, there's like a ton of them in there. And some of them will do things like force you to, uh, to get um, certain runes before others, you know, so like you gotta not go into lair until you've already finished vaults or some crazy shit like that, you know, um, which really, really changed the character of your game. And I like that a lot because there was a time when I played a, uh, a tournament in DCSS and I ended up having to drop out of it because I, uh, one of the rules of getting points uh, for the, for the, that particular kind of tournament was that I had to not do depths until I had done, uh, what do you call it, uh, slime and gotten the slime rune and it basically I was just like not paying attention and I slammed the down key and that was all it took you know I went into depths for one turn and it's like you know that that's it which um I mean it just seems uh sort of silly when when the code exists to have conducts you know in this fork you would think they would just take it but anyway yeah I think that's a great uh great addition is hermit crab the new race it's one of the new races in uh, in goon crawl I don't think you're going to be seeing hermit crabs in mainline anytime soon. Uh, we are going to disintegrate this Tingu warrior, hopefully, trying to kill him quickly. If he refuses to die, we may just have to use some, some slouch. Uh, but probably not. I can probably just do this. There we go. Okay, here we go. Unfortunately, we've got... Uh-oh, wow, I ran out of magic. I am not paying much attention. Uh, well, let's use this uh, super radical goon crawl item, the Harp of Healing, which uh, basically I play it, 
uh, I'm now playing the harp. As long as I press the uh, dot key and just wait, I heal every turn based on my evocations. I don't get to do that again, though, until I gain a bunch of experience. So this just kind of gives me a, a minute to gain my HP back um, and also gain some, some mana as I wait. Okay, but if you go to full HP, you stop playing the harp automatically. It's a little bit better when you have minions, but really, really powerful item. Cool, uh, cool visual too, you know. Uh, we, we didn't really gain back enough mana for my taste. I probably should have... Well, I was going to say I should have drank an Ambrosia, but we don't have one. Oh, it's way better than Ambrosia. It heals way faster. Super, super powerful. Um, anyway, yeah, I have uh, been fooling around a little bit too much here. Why don't we scattershot to clear this thing out? Good, we got the melee eye as well. Oh, we uh, expend magic to strengthen wands. Oops. Let's see, 46% chance to enslave the Tengu warrior. 46 to enslave the Centaur warrior. 63 for the Orc warrior. Mm. No charges on our disintegrate. We do have recharge scrolls, so we could we could just recharge uh, scatter shot. It's not going to work so well on Mr. Tingu Warrior though, because he's got uh, a shield. Um, I forgot that I am uh, I am not really in a position where I can just tab things. <laughs> uh, why don't we just? I'm actually going to burn the mirror real quick. Switch to my scythe. And let's see, do I have do I have a do I have an easy exit? I have yeah, I have fear and blink, so I'm gonna fool around just a little bit. We shouldn't die instantly here or anything. Unless I swing the scythe, which could definitely cause a problem due to the fact that I you know I would I would basically be attacking twice. Because I have trained no pole arms. Uh, this is not an optimal thing that I'm doing here. You really shouldn't use a scythe under any circumstances. Okay, I'll swing on this dude. Alright. Another cool thing about this character is... Uh, we happen to have an amulet of regen on. And troll leather armor. And... Oh yeah, the thing I was thinking of earlier... Was the fact that they, uh, they did the... Um, the redesign of charms so that like I have regen and uh, my new chill spell on permanently and the the penalty for that is that my maximum mana is reduced by the casting cost for um, forever for as long as I have it uh, active I do think that regeneration is a bit uh, overpowered when you uh, when you just get to have it all the time you know the smug big brain crab yeah pretty much <laughs> yeah I mean, I'm regenerating 2.48 per turn, which is, uh, that's a lot. Uh, is stuff like phase shift still in the game? Uh, apparently so. Yep, in the Book of Enchantments and the Book of Dreams. It's been a long time since I've thought about phase shift. Oh, let's walk at chase speed like a champion, turn this corner, and then do it this way, yeah? Oh, it's like as many spells as possible. That's interesting. Hey, we have a source of resist elect electricity. But yeah, I don't think this is a fork that is um, terribly concerned with trying to pare things down, you know. Um, that's one thing that Mainline, I think, it, it's a good thing about their philosophy when they, uh, well, when they care to follow it. Um, I do think it's a good thing to try to keep the game as unbloated as possible. But with that said, uh, you can go in a different direction and create a perfectly fun fork, which I think that, uh, I think Gooncrawl... Uh, I think Gooncrawl has succeeded at that. Sea Blink is a level 9 spell. I mean, I don't think Controlled Blink is level 8. Um, 
I don't think Control Blink was ever a broken spell. What was it in Mainline? Seven? I mean, with the, with the amount of translocations that you had to get, I think it was perfectly balanced, honestly. Let's drop a bunch of this crap. I picked up all this stuff just for fun. Drop these weapons. Oh yeah, drop the pies. Pies don't actually do anything. Time stop? <laughs> oh. I might have to I might have to get time stop today. Do I have RF? Yeah I do. I'll just tap this guy then. Five or something? Yeah, that's that's ludicrous. Five is too low. I think that for control blink to be balanced, it does have to be a uh, minimum seven. Because uh, like six, if you remember, uh, six was where haste was, and that was outrageous. I bet you they move. I bet you they moved haste to nine. Yeah. Now this is this is reasonable because like haste is a is an outrageously powerful ability to just be able to turn on whenever you want. Um, so back in the day, it was level six, which is just too is too low. You know. Does it, does it have that make meat into potion spell? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That one was fun. That's, uh, gosh, what was that called? I bet doesn't he remembers. But um, you wonder if they made haste permanent. Oh, my God. Well, we won't be finding out this game since I went Che to make this more fun. I had to, I had to give myself a challenge, you know. Che wouldn't like that. Actually, I wonder, if I cast that spell... Holy shit. If I cast haste... Would would Che continue to get mad at me forever, like every time I attacked, or would he just get mad at me one time and then I just have haste on? You know what I mean? Oh shit. Let's uh let's take let's 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 take Mr. Freezing Wraith seriously, yeah. Okay. Okay, not terrific. Um, yeah, we can be paralyzed by this guy, possibly. Uh, Slouch should kill all of this stuff except for the wizard. Okay, that's fine. It didn't kill the centaur. Let's go again. Okay, good. Uh, yes. Okay, let's, let's see. You cannot double zap me if that's lightning bolt because I'm next to metal. Um, I don't think he can kill me. I mean, he could, he could, if he paralyzed me and then proceeded to mystic blast me a bunch, I would die, but one, two, three, he can't even, he can't LCS me yet. Uh, it is a scary hit chance. Do, 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 I wish we had ice blast. Ice blast would, would make this better. Let's just slouch again, finish him off. I, I used up a ton of piety for that, but that's fine. Uh, oh yeah, hey. But yeah, as you can see, every time I eat food, an unseen audience cheers, and I, I, uh, I get a mutation of some sort, positive or negative. Hey, here we go. We got a new spell, baby, and it's stolen directly from D&D. Are you ready? It is the Black Blade of Disaster. One of the most thematic spells in D&D that nobody ever uses. Uh, a reckless and dangerous spell capable of great destruction channels emanations of disastrous arcane power through the caster's weapon that explode in a large radius shortly after the spell expires, damaging all creatures. Okay, so it's not really the D&D spell. Uh, including the caster caught within the blast, the damage of the explosion is based both on spell power and the caster's weapon. This is some chuny shit. <laughs> Sounds like arc. It does sound a bit like arc, arc blade. I wonder if it's every time I swing or if it's just like... It says shortly after the spell expires, so I'm guessing it's a one-time only kind of thing. Unarmed fighters find it easier to channel the full power of the spell into their attacks, but lose the benefit of their weapon. What does that mean? I can't swing if I'm unarmed? Well, we'll try it out. Um, I promised I would mess with new, new spells first. Um, I am going to take Phase Shift, though, which is kind of a new spell. It's more like an old spell. Okay, uh, feel closer to the material plane. 
Okay, I guess that's like a mischance, and it uh, it doesn't. They didn't make it permanent. Uh, I want yeah, I want to say that it adds like a flat mischance on top of everything to every single attack. We're gonna uh, we're gonna amnesia that. We're also gonna amnesia Sigatubi's embrace because I have to cast it. I'm not saying it's a bad spell, but I kind of want to make this guy just have all the buffs in the world. Uh, is there an actual downside to casting at high fail rates? Oh yeah, you uh, stand a pretty decent chance of having a miscast, which can have horrid things happen to you. Um, at a minimum, if you fail, you've wasted your uh, your mana. You know. Oh yeah, you get like a million amnesia scrolls, so we get to play. We get to fool around. We get to fool around a bit. Let's get deflect missiles. Uh, I guess there's probably not much of a penalty or a reason. Uh, to uh, avoid casting like the permanent buffs at high fail rates, you know. But yeah, it depends on the spell school. Those those things that Green Eggs and Slam listed can definitely happen to you. Uh, Charms five. Yeah, I'll, I'll cast deflect missiles. Yeah, see, very safe from missiles. Of course, uh, that means I'm. The the fact is that I that I uh, the the high fail rate also implies that my spell power is not very high. So deflect missiles is not going to be like. A truly amazing effect for me, you know. Like it might be if I had higher spell power. I have got to. I have got to know about this haste spell, man. Uh, if 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 I can cast that and keep it on permanently without Che getting mad at me, which I, I think that's how it's going to work. That's hilarious. Uh, we'll find that out later, though. Uh, the spell power effect, E missile. You better believe it. Uh, Assume Che would excommunicate you? Well, I guess... Uh, if not constantly getting... The, the thing is, if you drink haste, he doesn't continue to get pissed at you if you attack while, while haste is on you from a potion. So I have a feeling that, they, that, that Che will just get mad at me for casting it and then, and then like ignore it from that point forward, depending on uh, how, how thoughtful the developer was when he put that in it. They may have done an oversight and we're gonna, I'll tell you what, we'll, uh, we'll do a poll. Test the wrath of Che. Okay. Yeah, we can't do it right now. This is for later. This is just for, for the for for memory's sake. We'll uh, we'll remember to do it later. Anyway, we're gonna memorize uh, Black Blade of Disaster. What do I want to put this on? Let's put it on S, I guess. Source dive. Yeah, Goon, Goon is probably open source. Why wouldn't it be? That'd be silly if they didn't open source it. Um, especially since, uh, oh yeah, in fact, it's got to be open source. Otherwise, uh, I don't think I don't think that uh, Floraline would have put it on Kelby without being able to compile the thing himself, you know, and verify that it's not full of backdoors that you know give them access to to the server. Uh, let's see, dangerous spell, capable of great destruction. Blah 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 blah. Damage of the explosion is based on both spell power and the caster's weapon. So I don't think it's my weapon skill, it's the weapon itself. So let's just... Whoops. Let's, uh, let's just cast Black Blade of Disaster. So we've got... Oh no, are you, are you trying to get me banned from social media, bro? What are you? What are you? What are you doing? That we're not allowed to discuss. We're not allowed. We're not allowed to discuss that topic. Uh, or the powers that be will f fucking erase me like a member of Stalin's cabinet. Um. I mean, in all seriousness, that's an actual. Uh, <laughs> that's, uh, what are you saying? It looks like it still contaminates you. But yeah, thank you for the sub. I do appreciate it. Um, all right, so Blade of Disaster. We cast it again. We miscast. Blade of Disaster. We got it. I think it happens. I think it kind of lied to me. I think it's every time I swing. I miss. 
Uh, I hit the Manticore, the Manticore is poisoned. Manticore is lightly wounded. Your blade no longer brings disaster. Okay, so it... It ran... Uh, okay, the effect ran out. I have two minus disasters up here for some reason. And then I have uh, a disaster emanation. A spark created by meeting... By the meeting of adversaries, bounded, shaped by powerful magic. It'll explode with dreadful force not long after the magic that enabled its creation expires. 190 HP. This is... This is very odd. Um, this, uh... I have a suspicion that it's going to be like uh, that one hex spell that explodes... Okay, we're going to swing. You have recovered from your disaster. Uh, your disaster emanation crackles loudly. Yeah, it's the same. Holy shit, that's lame as hell. That's like a... That's like a really weird version of... Uh, I mean, maybe it does a ton of damage or something. Who knows, but... Fulminant Prism. Yeah, that's... A, thank you. Thank you, uh, cool guy. Fulminant Prism... Conjuration's Hexes, Blade of Disaster, Conjuration's Charms. Prisms don't have 190 HP. Yeah, it's like a big, big, bulk, bulky version of Fulminant. Oh, shit. Uh, I am going to... I, I am going to recharge my Disintegrate and take this guy seriously. Get strength. Fulminant is a very fun spell. Probably a little better than the Blade of Disaster. I don't think we're going to be using Blade of Disaster today. With this mutation? What mutation? You mean the, uh, you want to know what crabs do? This uh, apparently just means I can't uh, get mutated with body mutations, like I can't grow horns. Um, and this reduces my encumbrance. Oh, that's not a mutation. That's, uh, that is, um, Gooncrawl has these things called, um, these, these things called pledges, which are like, uh, the optional conducts that people sometimes, uh, sometimes do. Only, uh, the, the difference is, holy shit, blink please. The difference is that it's coded into the game, which is just great. Um, so like, uh, peer pressure is the one that I'm using now. I selected that before the game started. And so every time I eat any kind of food, I mutate. We might also be mean to petrification. Yeah, maybe. We we saw something wacky happen where we kind of chilled out in some calcifying dust for a while, and for some reason I didn't uh, I didn't die. So, hey guys, remember how Mainline uh, removed disintegration and changed it into Mind Burst and made it so it doesn't work against uh, mindless things? And then the uh, PR had this really smug text in it that was like, oh, it's okay. There's nothing good, really. Nothing dangerous that you would need to use it against. Check this out. I give you the absolute best target for Disintegrate. A Simulacrum. Look at its extremely low magic resistance. And tiny HP and huge damage that it can do to me. And I just killed it in two actions. It's almost like the DCSS devs don't know what the hell they're doing. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'm glad that still exists in this fork. Uh, what are all the pledges? Yeah, man, they uh, they took out disintegrate, changed. Oh, it's actually like a weird sequence of events because they uh, they wanted to they wanted to mess with the the name, I guess because because of the fact that they had changed the the, the words magic resistance to willpower, so they thought it was weird that disintegration was keyed off of, uh, or, or resisted by willpower. So they're like, okay, well, let's make it mind burst. And then they thought, well, because we changed the name of this, we have to make it not affect things that are mindless. And it was just this, like, uh, this thing where I heard the Benny Hill theme playing in my, in my head the whole time I, I read about this. Uh, so five and exploration trap, still ridiculous. Um, sort of, I mean, yeah, that's still dumb, but uh, I mean, with, like, also Clown Pies and stuff, but Zot has largely, uh, largely the difficulty of Zot has gone away because, um, because now you can control Blink and Zot. So if you have, uh, if, 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 if you have kind of saved up 
a uh, a mountain of blink scrolls like you probably should have by the time you get to Zot. Uh, now all of a sudden you can just kind of, you know, <laughs> you could you can you can you can just like bail out of most bad situations, you know. Uh, oh, you're you you were asking about goon. Sorry, I thought you were talking asking about mainline. Yeah, in mainline you can see blink and all of Zot. We are permanently infusing. What else did we get? Oh my god, can I have Song of Slaying up permanently? No way. That would be pretty wild. Oh my. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll do that. Can I have... Surely I can't have Spectral Weapon permanently. That's a summon. I bet I can have Shroud, though. If I can spell it right. Yeah, charms are actually fun. Yeah, Goon Crawl managed to make charms uh, good. Okay, Shroud we don't get to have all the time, so we'll amnesia that off. Looks like we have two elevator vaults here. Uh, da, 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 da. Um, hmm. Oh, right. I was going to cast Spectral Weapon. Yeah, I guess he is with me all the time. Or maybe not. Oh, no. It's when I get into combat, I start swinging. He pops out. That's kind of cool. Oh, right. Sorry. You did ask what pledges. I, I was trying to figure out how to look that up, and then you, uh, and then I got, like, sidetracked. Um, I would love to answer your question. Um, I don't think I can do that without starting a new game uh but there's like there's a lot there's like three six nine twelve fifteen probably like fifteen i think there's like several ro rows of three or four so all you have to do if you want to see them all you got to do is go to kelby and uh click goon crawl and just start a game and it's right at the very beginning it'll show you all of them oh boy let's uh hmm. let's let's recharge Oh man, I'm gonna recharge Scattershot instead. That's not good versus this guy, but I, I was my last recharge. I, I don't wanna basically I messed up. I, I want to set a great, but I, I also don't want to be without Scattershot. Uh what can we do about this guy? He's actually kind of annoying right here. Can I enslave him? Eh. Eh. Wait a minute, I have deflect missiles now. I'm probably okay. Um I have a very, I have a very low spell power deflect missiles though, so I should be careful. Well, we do have a sweet little sight behind us. I guess, uh, you know, I set out to uh, show off this wacky combo and use some new spells, but really, because this is Goon Crawl, I... Uh, I'm just kind of ending up uh, being a, a scald, you know, or a scald, I guess it's pronounced, which is uh, shockingly incredibly fun, something that I didn't necessarily think was possible, but Goon Crawl managed to make it happen. For reference, uh, scald is probably like my least favorite class in, uh, in mainline, not that it exists anymore. I don't think it exists anymore. You consider all of these charms supposed to be new? I mean, they effectively are, you know. You're absolutely right about that. Oh, we can't wear helmets. We uh, we have a deformed crab head, so that's no good. Skull is kill. I remember uh, when they once uh, they banned a guy from their IRC for, or from their GitHub rather for uh, their their IRC and their GitHub, I think, for submitting a PR that just removed Skull. They said he was trolling. He was like, well, I think Scald should be removed. <laughs> and then they end up removing Scald later. <laughs> I guess they better ban uh, Pleasing Fungus or whoever removed it. You know. Uh, hypocrisy. Um, okay. I'm saving up my Enchant Armor Scrolls because we are in a pretty good place. Curse String of Teleportation. No, thank you. 
sure they'll get right on it. Yes. Mm, yes. We found brand weapon. If I wanted to, I could brand uh, this broad axe. I'm probably just going to save it, though. Maybe I'll find another broad axe. I don't really want to be like a broad axe man, honestly, but we'll see. Man, that is the third wizard I found in dungeon. Maybe we just uh, maybe we just stop pushing our luck with that and come back to D15 uh, when we when we have some more magic resistance. Yeah. Uh, instead, why don't we go to D8 and go bag and tag us a gastronoc. Uh Mutations won't stop making us dexterous, right? Oh no, Harp of Healing is uh, inert right now. I was actually kind of relying on that. It's okay. If things get really bad, I'll use one of my blinks. Uh, actually, I could silence him if I really wanted to. Of course, then I'd kind of have to melee him. I'd have to win the fight, essentially. All right, I cannot take any steps safely because he can airstrike me twice and kill me. Uh, hmm. You know, I wish I had uh, Portal Projectile. That would make this, uh, this character a little better. So doesn't he? You found out that Haste simply applies the wand effect, huh? Not permanent. Lame. Oh wow, Repel Missiles is still in this game. It doesn't uh, stack with Deflect, though. And Deflect is uh, strictly, strictly better. I should have made silence permanent. Oh my god. Is Invis like that as well? I, I doubt it. I doubt it. But I don't know. I have no way of testing it because we don't have the spell right now. Mana Viper would be useful. We might pick that up. Although, again, I'm trying to limit myself to, uh, to, uh, to spells. To, to new, new-ish spells. Why don't we, uh, I will risk taking a step because I'm above 100 HP. Let's run, let's set fire. Uh, okay, I'm going to risk shooting even though I do it slowly. Okay, and there it is. There's the airstrike. Um, shoot that. I don't really need to kill this guy right now. Uh, honestly, the fact that I'm even doing this is a bit silly. There's no haste in there. Oh, no. Hey, here we go. He's in fire now. That's pretty good. Does Castronok have good AC? He does not. We can probably kill him with a scatter shot, actually, once he's next to us. Uh, pass wall to run would probably be a poor choice here because uh, I guess I could go to the right because the, the more... The more tiles, the slower you move. I want to say that, like, I, honestly, I've never bothered to memorize it, and I probably should because uh, it's important, but I want to say that it would probably take me, like, two, three, maybe even, like, four turns to go through. Is it is it two turns per, per tile that you're passing through? Anyway, it's more than enough for him to slaughter my ass with airstrike. It definitely takes multiple turns, that's, that's for sure. Oh, no, stop airstriking me. Gosh, I sure, I sure wish I had my Harp of Healing. We've got heal wounds, I guess. Um, let's just see. I can't die in one hit. I'm pretty sure he only does 50 damage with that maximum. You feel a sudden passing aversion to salt. Uh, down he goes. Okay, cool. Plus one hat, which we cannot even use. Stealth-based Earth Elementalists. Um, actually, in my world record streak, which is still ongoing, I uh, I remember I cast uh, I cast Passball once, and uh, I was like next to a, a two-headed ogre or something, and I and I just basically had a brain fart and didn't uh, didn't remember the fact that it takes so long to cast, and through through sheer luck. I didn't die, but uh, I probably should have, you know, based on uh, the the odds, you know. 
We are running around to shops buying a couple of things. Digging and, uh, well, maybe just digging. Maybe two diggings. There we go. Not bad. I have plenty of flame. But now we have digging, so we can make kill holes now. Let's go to D7. I'm just kind of getting myself a little bit of experience here. Joseph, where are you? There you are. We can just tab him now. Okay. A um, couple of choices as to where to go. Um, the game has been very unkind to us with regards to body armor with magic resistance on it, or rings with magic resistance, which are the two main sources. Um, but in fact, we found no magic resistance at all. Uh, not even artifacts. So, um, that means that I probably don't want to go back into D15, because we know there's a wizard there. It also means we probably don't want to go into Orc, um, because unlike, unlike that other fork that I tried a while back that I am trying to remember the name of, maybe it was just B-Crawl, uh, they didn't take away Paralyze on Orc Sorcerers and Goon Crawl. So, Orc still largely functions as a uh, magic resistance check. Not entirely. I mean, there's ways around it, but they're not foolproof, where, whereas MR is. Um, so typically in a situation like this, I, uh, well, I don't go into vaults. Is that is it not rune-locked anymore? Hey, it's not rune-locked, and we just, oh my god, there's a, I just memed myself. There's a, uh, there, there's a whiz lab in here, and it's timed. What are we going to do, you guys? Are we going to leave the whiz lab behind? I just went in here to check and see if it was rune-locked still, and it looks like they they made it not rune-locked, you know. You don't think whiz lab is timed? Yeah, it is. Well, it certainly is in mainline. Um, you hear the stately crackle of a very distant magical portal. Um, you hear the crackle of arcane power. Oops. You hear the crackle of arcane power. Arcane power is just the thing that it says when you walk in. Uh, no, I haven't done swamp. Swamp is probably the same thing to do as what I was about to say before I was suggested to check out vaults, which, no, this is not the optimal thing to do, for sure. Um, oh, no! Looks like we're not going to be... We're, we're, we're probably not doing Wiz Lab today. I just got marked. Yeah, it's uh it's giving me timed messages. So yeah, it is it is uh it is in fact timed. I kind of want to do the whiz lab just for fun. If I was uh if I was in a streak, we wouldn't have walked into this branch at all. But uh you know, let let alone let alone even think about doing this whiz lab, but I'm going to do it just for fun. Oh, it's the Chambers of the Cloud Mage. I don't quite remember how this is laid out, so I'm going to map it. Do, do I just get my ass ruined by, by air elementalists and shock serpents? Holy shit, I forgot there were shock serpents in here. <laughs> oh my god. Is Mr. Crabbington going to be okay? Uh, probably not with these guys around. These guys can one-shot me for sure. Uh, no moon troll armor today. Uh, technically, I think it could still show up in Abyss. Probably not, though. Oh my god. There's a snake in my ass. Yeah, no, I don't I don't want that. Let's uh, swap to Staff of Air so I don't just get instantly killed by these guys. Uh, Fleshworks, yeah, that's a good one. Cool guy, that's my favorite. That's my, that's my favorite whiz lab, for sure. It's just fun. All right, so we mind controlled the uh, the shock serpent. My favorite thing to do with them. These are neo air elementals. They imported those, so that means that I can be uh, moved all around by those, which is no good. Um, okay, we've. Uh, Mind controlled both of the electric things. Old Neo Air Elementals, that's true, yeah. New, new. They're old, new. 
Uh, if I scatter shot, I'm going to hit my own guys. What do we do here? I got turned into parabots. Oh, yeah. Do they just like paralyze you regardless of MR now or some stupid bullshit for one turn? It's the kind of thing that makes me never want to play mainline again. <laughs> it's just bad. Uh, let's disintegrate the Death Drake. Uh, I'm gonna actually, let's see, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna swap to the scythe. Okay, we're actually going to disintegrate this guy to finish him off, and now we're going to try not to die to Vortex. Oh my lord, I'm taking so much damage! Bruh. I'll, uh, I'll drink a heal wounds. Let's blink, maybe buy a little bit of time and let my regen do its work. Ghost crab. Ghost crab. Bro, we might die here. Well, we have harp of healing now, so let me um let me check the AC on these guys. No AC, okay. Well, one pip of AC. You regret nothing, Tony. Well, I honestly didn't think it would let me. I didn't think they had removed the rune lock, but I had no uh I guess I had no reason to uh to believe that. Wand of enslavement. 43%. It's not ideal. Let's try a new spell. Oh, this is this is the copy and paste from the PR. A weak electrical beam that can inflict a very brief... Yeah. Very brief. Well, we're, we're exceptionally under-leveled for it, cool guy. We're supposed to be, like, level 20-ish by the time we run into a place like this. Yeah, whoever wrote that is an asshole. I'm guessing it's Pleasing Fungus. It's just... It doesn't make sense. Uh, I'm sorry. It doesn't. It just doesn't make any goddamn sense. Even one turn of para can be disastrous, and it's going to feel incredibly unfair. Oh yeah, exactly, Tony. But the thing is, it's going to feel incredibly unfair with the fact that uh, it cannot be guaranteed to 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 be resisted, unless I'm misunderstanding how it works. Like if you have Arlek, are you immune to that? Also, I like how it says stasis as though that's something that shows up in the game. I mean, I guess it does if you're like a, uh, if you're a pharmacid, but not, you know, not really. Oh, shit. Okay, we're going to use the harp. The harp. The harp does not help. What, uh... Oh, oh my god. We don't have any cure potions. Hold up. Hold the phone. This just got real... Uh, what's your AC like? Two pips? Well, that that's the problem, is... <laughs> I'm gonna have to drink a bunch of heal wounds, actually, because I can't get this poison off. Well, one. Oh, Jesus Christ. You guys, I shouldn't be in here. He's fooling around too much. Alright, so as you can see, it's definitely not a good idea for me to be in this, uh, this vault. To step th through time, do anything. I didn't have the mana for it, but, um, it doesn't really help with, uh, with, with poison, no. Yeah, the poison travels through time with you into the into the no-no zone. Um, stay in the vault. <laughs> you guys want me to finish it? Well, I guess we do have some... Uh, we have the tools to finish it if I want to. It's going to be obnoxious as hell, but we do have the tools to do it. Recharge. Disintegrate. Oh, it can get worse. There's no question it can get worse. Uh... What could possibly go wrong? Huh. I should probably learn silence. This is the peer pressure stream? Yeah, okay. Uh, what can I learn that would help me? Anything? Nothing that qualifies as a uh, new spell. RP the peer pressure. <laughs> yeah. 
well, we are going to learn silence. Has a new version of a BBC? Well, people asked me not to use it last time. Does a three? Oh, oh, you're memeing. Okay, all right. Mm, yes, yes, indeed. All right, the apocalypse crab. Oh boy. Oh boy. Hold on. How fast is an air elemental? Extremely fast. So I should just be able to erase them, right? Yep. Okay. It's just that we have to blink away from the death, the death drakes, you know, whenever they show up. Probably shouldn't have tabbed that guy, but whatever. Oh no! Oh no! It's uh, the old blizzard demon. Okay. Let me just attack at speed too. What a champion. Hit tab. Well, we throw in Ring of Ice and then hit tab. That that was indeed the sweet spot of DCSS. There's no question about that. I was playing Noita and I didn't see the stream notification. How's Noita doing? Oren, how are you liking that? Ring of Ice. We just kind of have to live with the fact that he can uh, he can lightning bolt us, but deflect missiles might keep us uh, safe. By the way, do any of you guys know if uh, if Goon Crawl updates your spell power like it should as you gain skill in the uh, charms or or not? I think Goon doesn't update it. Interesting. Uh, well, in that case, what we can do is we can just like cast Deflect Missiles again. Because you better believe I want the maximum spell power that I can have. I don't think that Infusion or Song of Slaying are affected by spell power though, so we're not going to fool with that. Or Spectral Weapon for that matter. Test it by looking at reach. Oh, that's true. I have been training charms. Okay, uh, regen 2.5. Regen 2.5, so maybe it is updating, or maybe I just haven't trained enough. i tell you what we'll do is we'll take Necromancy to 10. And we'll start, like, greedily training tons of, uh, tons of spells, you know? Yeah, or in, uh... Noita is definitely a Huber simulator. Hey, Beast, we have potions of curing, finally. One shot by a Heesey with a massive wand. That's the annoying thing about Noita, is once you've unlocked a bunch of stuff, you, uh... You actually, uh... It, it, me it means that random wands can spawn that just kind of instantly kill you. Which is, uh, troubling. <laughs> We are aquatic. Oh man, don't don't lightning bolt me, bro. I have to scatter shot you. I don't care that you're deflecting missiles. You're supposed to die to scatter shot. Alrighty. You fail to slouch? Bruh, 4% fail rate? Come on, bro. Here we go. Time to swim with my little my little pincers. Well, I, I, I imagine green eggs. Uh, spark wasp. I wish we had paralyzed. Let's just disintegrate them. Take a step. I can't... Mm, I can't really put... can't really keep RC plus on right now with RF minus with the Crab around, so we'll wear the, uh, the Startelli ring. But this is kind of useful. I can use flame here. 
and we, we can let him enjoy the steam. Okay, cool. There's always a crab around. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, this is uh, hilarious, though. The fact that we're even in here at level 15 with no runes. Hello! Linise the Cloud Mage comes into view. And there he is. Uh, we will silence. He has a quick blade of electrocution, which is fine. He will not be casting Tornado anytime soon on me. Uh... He's got no AC. He's got a good amount of... He's got a good amount of uh, magic resistance, so we're going to use flame. Flame. We're going to try to swing on him, and if he wants to be a prick, yeah, he's doing too much to me. We'll just scattershot him to death. Hey, look, a quick blade I'm not allowed to use. Hey, look, the robe of clouds, which makes no sense for this character to use. Although, the, the Arlek might be kind of cool. I'd prefer to have... I would very much prefer to have... Prefer to have um... Oh my god! I thought this room was empty. Uh, fuck, fuck this. I'm just gonna slouch. Okay. For a second I thought that was a... Uh, like the finisher scythe, but uh, in, in fact, it's just a normal scythe. Okay, Oz armor. Interesting. So as long as I stay below five encumbrance rating, this is the um, this is the original version of Oz armor. So moving it doesn't break it. So we can as we can have Oz armor forever if we want. Let's amnesia something. I'll amnesia magic dart for one. Tons of crabs, you feel like they've been watching me. <laughs> Maybe. I do always feel like somebody's watching me. However that sound, however that song goes. Permanent Ozzos is not bad. Get 9 AC forever. It's not fucking bad at all. Uh, okay, a bunch of cloud spells from the Papyrus of Feathers. Kind of a, a discount uh, book of clouds, I guess. Nothing I really want to cast. What was in the other book? Uh, nothing Nothing else I care about. Okay. A ring. RF minus. This looks like shit. I'm not wearing this. Uh, flame tongue. Book of bolt of fire. Dragon form. Dragon's call. Guess I can cast dragon dragon form at some point if I really want to stop being a crab. Uh, int plus two, dex plus three. I, I guess I'll wear this instead of strength for the time being. We really have been robbed in terms of jewelry. Could this arbalest possibly be better? I doubt it. A plus zero flaming. Nope. Rescue the clouds room? I mean, I can grab it, but I can't imagine we're going to actually use it. Can wear it for a moment if you like. Oh no! All my spells went away! We're going to have to recast everything! I mean, it looks stylish. I look like a nice... Uh, I look like I'm ready for bed. This crab man is ready to take a nap, you know? Oh, uh, yeah, we'll go to Swamp, probably. <laughs> All that, and still no magic resistance, by the way. What? Oh, right. I forgot these guys do have Harpoon Shot. Oh, yeah. Wouldn't it help if I actually cast my charms? How about some Deflect Missiles so these things stop hitting me? Uh... 
Could you please get confused for me? I would appreciate that. Um, okay. Gauze armor. Chill thread. Uh, regen is the big one. This has got to be the easy swamp. I really can't imagine that they they went and grabbed, uh, went and grabbed that stuff from from mainline. I would be very surprised if it was if it was hard swamp. But maybe. Uh, spectral weapon. HP regen two point five one per turn. But I didn't check and see if it had been updated. If they added will o' wisp, I'd laugh. That would be. Mildly annoying on this character. Did I miss any? I think I have everything. What is the heaviest armor that I can wear with Ozos? So technically, I can go up to ER5 and still be able to have Ozos up. And the troll leather armor, which I have on right now, is ER, I want to say, 4. Yeah. Acid Dragon Scales is 5. Well, ER, yeah, we, we do have ER minus 6, but I have a feeling that uh, Azo Caboose is not going to... Well, gosh, we could test that real fast, I guess. That's an interesting idea. I, I see what you're doing. Ring Mail. We're going to go test it. I think I know what you're implying. I'm going to have to recast all my shit again. Uh, no. My crab ability does not allow me to cast Oz armor in heavier armor than I ordinarily would be able to. That would have been super rad, though, I have to say. Like, really interesting. I doubt that's something they even thought about, though, to be honest. That's such a, that's such a weird corner case. I probably wouldn't have thought of it if I wasn't playing this character, you know. We just, I think we can just flat out tank hydras at this point. Uh, but yeah, let's see. Um, troll, troll leather armor is AC4. Um, acid dragon armor is AC6, but has encumbrance of 5. Ice dragon armor is like 11. Yeah, I guess acid dragon would be the heaviest I can wear and still be able to cast... Oz armor. Yeah, the defenses are not bad. Honestly, I'm gonna I'm gonna probably stay in troll leather armor the whole game. So why don't we just uh Well the, the, I don't know, it's a little bit silly because I am a Che character, so I could definitely I could definitely wear heavier armor than that. Uh, oh yeah, Quicksilver. May no, no way. Yeah, seven. I knew it was low, but there was no way it was that low. Quicksilver is technically medium armor, I believe. But it's it's on the light end. It's definitely, you know, as far as like AC versus encumbrance, it's one of the best. Hell, I would love to have some Quicksilver Dragon armor right now. But yeah, we can get really, really high AC if we get Oz. Um, Quicksilver would be worth it right now, for sure, just for the MR. I'm going to go ahead and enchant my Troll Leather. Maybe we can just wear Snorg skin forever. Cannot be enchanted further, all right. All right, I think we could just tab through here, frankly. Oh, haha! -ha! We uh, we don't have we don't have our poise, and it's actually a problem. Holy shit! Uh, I didn't I didn't expect that. Um, do I have Demis a lot? Yeah, I do. Do I have Regen up? Yeah, I do. Okay, here we go. Is this the new style mangrove? No, this is old school mangrove. It doesn't have uh, the Gamma Funk special. They can still hit for 41 damage though, so I should probably stop fooling around. And possibly poop out hornets on me. Hey, there they are. Uh, I'm talking about when Gamma Funk gave mangroves a uh, janky, janky NPC version of Val Clutch which made them one of the most dangerous enemies in the game. 
Ha ha, man grows paralyzed by his own hornet. You know what? We're just going to slouch. Ring of Flames. Oh my god. Can we have Ring of Flames all the time? Oh uh, yeah, the roots. Root status. It's uh it's like BVC. The only way to avoid it is to is to be in deep water. <sighs> okay, let's uh let's amnesia some more stuff. I don't really need Mephitic Cloud anymore. Honestly, I'm gonna take away Passwall, as nice as it is to have on a Che character. Take away Call Imp. Uh that looks to be sufficient. I'm gonna laugh so hard if I can have this thing up all the time. Holy poop, I can. Holy poop, it's big too. Was it this big in mainline? I thought it was uh, only one ring around you. Did they buff this? That's amazing. That is, that is outrageous. Okay, we're the charms man. Who needs Ring of Clouds when you have this? Well, I tell you what we don't need is we uh, we don't need our RC plus. I mean, we may have our RC minus right now due to the spell, but uh, there's basically no ice that can get through this thing. I mean, it's it's uh, there's a couple things that can pass through fire, but the only thing I really need to be worried about is like melee attacks. Oh, well, this is great, man. It's it's a little bit overpowered to be honest. Like the fact that I was able to cast this. Uh, the fact that I was able to cast this at 77% fail rate and get all this value out of it is a little bit janky, but I mean, God, I can't complain. Look at this. It's fun. You know? And how, how many games realistically are you going to find Ring of Fire early enough to be able to use this? So, like, this is why I really like... I don't know who it is uh, that develops Goon Crawl, but I... I mean, I know it's guys from Something Awful, but I don't, I don't know the individual dude's name. I just know that I, I like the fact that he's got a, a sense of fun which it seems like the mainline devs have abandoned a, a long fucking time ago. Uh, you know. And it's not to say that I don't want there to be any balance in the game, but, but, you know. Flu flu killer? Flood killer or flu killer? I... That would be some huge news to me if... Uh, by the way, I haven't seen flu killer in a while. Uh, it would be news to me if he's the guy who devs this, since I have talked to him on Discord before and never, it never came up. But it's possible. I mean, that'd be hilarious if it was Flu Killer. <laughs> I'd be like, hey, what's up, bro? <laughs> nice fork. I mean, Flood Killer may be a, a, an entirely separate guy. By the way, uh, Alf, I hope you know that I have to now edit this uh, this VOD to remove what you said. <laughs> In all seriousness, I, I probably would be banned from YouTube if I uh, if somebody discovered that and reported it. You know, probably not Twitch. I don't think I can really be blamed for something you said, but who knows? You know. So uh, thank you for the uh, twenty minutes of video editing I'm going to have to do. <laughs> Very cool. No, really, we, you you guys don't. Well, not you guys. Just like people in general, don't seem to realize the 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 level of censorship that we're on right now. Um, people tend to think that I'm paranoid. I think uh, about about this kind of thing, but the reality is that we are living in some of the most censored times ever, uh, because the internet has become this kind of choke point of information where you're getting most of your information, most of your political discourse or just political news, or even just like information that concerns the kind of decisions that you might make about your everyday life, uh, including health decisions. You're getting all of that, or at least most of it, from the internet. And who controls the internet? You know, um, I've talked a lot on this channel about, uh, on this stream about how it's like, of course, you've got Google, you've got Twitter, you've got the social media things. But what a lot of people don't realize is that, you know, on top of these very centralized social media companies that, 
you know, there's like a very tiny handful of them that can decide what you're allowed to say, uh, the very infrastructure of the internet is incredibly centralized uh, to the point where if they want to take away your domain name, for example, you can't even have a website really anymore if you're uh, if you're if you get popular enough and are saying the wrong things so to speak they could just take your your domain away from you by uh, you know I can or whatever the the organization that handles uh, the reg registering uh, you know the TLD the thing at the end dot com dot gov dot dot edu that kind of thing um, they can abuse that system to simply take your website away and by they I mean basically anybody who can start a wine mail campaign you know, uh, or, or a government like the American government, if they wanted to, um, you know, anybody, anybody with lobbying power, uh, can, can do that. And then on top of that, you've got companies, um, uh, these things called CDNs, uh, con content delivery networks, um, and, uh, and things that, uh, you know, like DDoS protection, like Cloudflare, you know, what DDoS protection is, uh, it, you know, it stops people from spamming your uh, your server with just like a shitload of bunk requests, right? That uh, makes your website inoperable to where people, you know, legitimate people can't see what you have to say. Um, so what we do with the modern in internet is we hire these uh, anti-DDoS companies, right? Um, to, to kind of stand in between uh, our websites and the bad guys with just like an absolute metric shit ton of hardware to the point where um, without getting into the techn technicals of it, essentially anybody who wanted to DDoS you would have to have more computing power uh, and, and more systems and more, more stuff connected, more, more IPs, uh, well not IPs, but more, more bandwidth really than, uh, than a huge company like Cloud, Cloudflare can, uh, can, can offer against them, you know. Uh, and the long story short is, uh, those companies are very few and far between. So if like Cloudflare decides they don't want to, um, uh, offer you services for, for some political reason or whatever, uh, that's another way that you could simply be silenced. So the reason I bring that up is, um, I mean, yeah, absolutely. If I were to criticize, um, anything related to the topic that, that Alf brought up earlier and, people, you know, the right people reported me to the, to the right, um, you know, email addresses and so on and so forth. Oh, I absolutely believe I'd lose my YouTube account if I uploaded that video to YouTube without editing it first. Um, I don't think there's any question in my mind. Some of it's completely automatic, you know, during the 2020 election. Oh yeah. Chase mad about, uh, berserk rage potions. I should drop those. Um, during the 2020 election, I posted a, uh, I posted an article uh, from the Gateway Pundit, which was uh, concerning uh, concerning a certain um, quote unquote president's uh, son, and my uh, my I did this on Twitter, and my Twitter account was automatically banned for twelve hours. It was a legitimate news article; uh, wasn't it wasn't made up. Later, people admitted that you know it was all uh, legitimate news, but uh, it. It was the last week running up to the uh, to the election, and you know it might have played badly for uh, for their side, and so uh, you know, without any kind of consequences, they were able to suppress the story, you know, and that was automated. That was fully automated. That wasn't even some person reported me and and made it happen. It was just you you linked to this uh, this news site we don't like. Uh, this is information that could uh, harm our guy or rather his, uh, his, his political chances. And so we're going to make sure you can't say it. And I tested it afterwards by, uh, making a, a redirect, uh, on my, uh, on one of my URLs and posting that on Twitter. And I, I didn't get automatically banned on that, but the, the URL itself, if you linked to that particular article, that particular URL on, on the original site, instantly banned Th this should terrify you. <laughs> You know, it should be at least really concerning um, because this is a level of censorship that, I mean, I say that it's the worst that we've ever seen in the history of the human race, which may sound like a kind of a weird thing to say because, you know, as, as, as far as you can tell, people aren't literally being dragged to prison, at least in this country, for saying things uh, yet. But um, speech has never been so, uh, so, so centralized before. You know, I kind of, the analogy I like to make is like, what if, you know, back in the day, uh, you, you couldn't have a printing press unless the government said so, you know, like the technology itself just kind of stopped working for you if the government decided 
that they uh, they didn't want it. You know what I mean? And they could do that remotely. I mean, yeah, they could they could always uh, oppress people or whatever, and you know, send goons in 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 boots to you know come drag your ass to jail. And obviously, that's a huge issue. But to me, this is more insidious because it's easier to ignore. You know, um, I can't have an open discussion uh, about many, many, many topics, including the one that Alf brought up earlier, uh, for fear of losing my social media accounts because my opinions uh, on a lot of those topics uh, do not go along with the, uh, the the gestalt or whatever you want to call it, the uh, the the shared narrative, the thing, the thing, the things that they want us to believe about whatever topic at hand, you know, there are certain things you just cannot question uh, for for fear of being uh, silenced in ways that simply weren't possible, you know, for most of human history, you know. I mean, I guess there was there was always the problem of uh, some, some uh, dickhead uh, slamming a person like me over the head with a large rock, but, um, I mean, there, there was never this sort of you know, one, one little tiny pipeline, you know, that can be plugged up, you know, where all of speech happens, you know, or not all speech, but most speech. I mean, it's at the point where like, I'm convinced these people can, I don't know how many of you have read 1984, but uh, that book talks a lot about, you know, the government being able to, or the party being able to literally, uh, well, maybe not literally, but in their minds, literally control reality because, um, it's almost like a philosophical thing, you know, if we can get everybody to believe X, even if X is not true in objective reality, like, say, the sky is purple, you know, even if that's not true, if we can get everybody to believe it, what is the effective difference between that, you know, and uh, and actually making the sky purple? And the answer is, uh, I don't know, not a lot, really. I should probably be careful. This is Jorgen right here. This is, uh, oh boy, this is old school Jorgen. He's got, he's got shatter. <laughs> <laughs> this this could be very bad. Um, so what was Tony saying about Goon Crawl? I, I am reading your messages, by the way. Uh, Goon Crawl is a fork that was started by me for something awful in response to wanting to do something productive out of all the doomsaying from recent versions. Anyone who just posts in the thread is eligible for suggested changes, uh, removals, additions, cool. Voting on these suggestions, as well as any pull requests or major features from Stone Soup should be merged. So it's democratic, but you got to give low tax 10 bucks to get a vote. Okay. Um, you don't want to contribute to the design progress uh, process or are lurking without an account and don't want to pony up the $10. Oh, hey, wait a minute. Uh, you can still contribute with your own development, artwork, code, vaults, documentation through pull requests. Play and enjoy the game and sharpen your pitchforks for whenever I've gone too far. That's cute. Okay. Flood killer, not flood killer. Okay, so it's not the same. Not the same guy. All right. Uh, I want to read silence, but this is actually quite dangerous uh, right here. Why don't we... First of all, we're going to drink flight, actually, to remove some of the danger from, uh, from the shatter. Do I have cancellation? I do. So I don't need to worry about petrify. I can just drink cancel to get that off. We're just going to slouch a bunch to clean up this area a bit. I'm a little bit surprised that this Death Ooze is not dead. He is fast. No, we're not in Abyss. We got the um, the wacky ending of Swamp that has a bunch of, bunch of bullshit in it. I do not mind burning my piety for a bunch of slouches. <laughs> I can live with this. Okay. Actually, I wonder if I uh, if I eat mutagenic chunks, do I mutate twice? Uh, this meat tastes really weird. You feel stupid. The food tastes really weird. Is that it happening twice? I feel a little pissed off. Wasting away. Meat tastes really weird. The food tastes really weird. I think it is trying to do it twice, and I'm just not getting hit twice because I have. Uh, I think I have resistance to mutations, don't I? Oh, no, I don't. I don't have that anymore. Anyway, we'll eat all the purple that we find. Just for fun. Just to just to really... Uh, just to really hammer in on, on the meme that we're, uh, we're doing today. I feel like Chapeidy exists most of the time just so I can slouch. 
<laughs> yeah, although you got to be careful about having your uh, your stats nuked um, too 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 much. But yeah, slouch is um, slouch gets you out of bad situations. I still think the step from time is one of the most powerful abilities in the game. But I mean, given Chase, uh, the fact that Chase slows you so much, you got to be really really goddamn careful about how you use it. I had a, an amazing game during the last tournament. I think it was the last tournament, or maybe the tournament before last, where I was playing a uh, I was playing a turn count run, and I just I don't think I recorded the game, which is just depressing. But um, I I ended up having to to step from time like a, a ton, you know, in uh, in Zot, and ended up ended up surviving and making a pretty okay turn count. I think that was the I think that was the last tournament I played. Maybe with were you on the team? Doesn't he? Maybe I know that. Uh, I know that Dicky was was on the team, but I can't remember who else was. Man Man, maybe? Probably Man Man. I don't think I've ever played a tournament without Man Man. Turn count running is where I do weird you would do weird stuff like bread swinging. Yeah. I played one without without you. I know last tournament I played like six games and got fucking sick of it and I didn't really do any I didn't do any turn count or anything. No, yeah, that was that was last time. I'm definitely not talking about that tournament. I'm I'm talking about a tournament where I did turn count because I did the last tournament on my main. Uh, I did that on my on my streaking account, so there's no way you could see me do a turn count run on there. This was, I believe, the final tournament that used the uh, old scoring style. It was the it was the last fun tournament allowed in crawl. I really don't like the new tournament tor uh, tournament scoring style. Yeah, I think that was that was it. That was a fun time. I mean, despite everything that the devs, you know, did to this game, I genuinely had fun during that tournament. What did they change? What do you mean the devs? I mean, where do I start, man? Oh, the scoring style. Um, sorry, I'm a little groggy right now. Uh everything i guess um hey i am going to wear this reflection amulet honestly it's it's again it's kind of like where do i start uh it's not to say that the old scoring style style didn't have some problems but uh okay so so they changed it to to where like there are these categories now uh and essentially if one person gets a category, there's like no reason to go for it for anybody else. So streaking, for instance, um, if there's a guy who is going for streak games and he has more streak games than you, you you just can't get, you know, you, it's not like, gosh, how do I describe this? I'm, I'm doing a terrible job of uh, articulating what I mean. In, in Okay, in the old version, if I had like 15 streak games and somebody else had 20 streak games, uh, let's say each streak game is worth like 100 points. I would still get my 1,500 points for my 15 streak games. He would get like 2,000, and then he would get some kind of little bonus for, uh, you know, for for uh, getting first place, I think, uh, in number of streak games. Maybe. I, I don't quite remember. But the point is that if I then got like 16 streak games, I would have 1,600 points. He would still get his 2,000, so on and so forth. In the current version... Uh, if, if a guy takes first place, if he has like 20 street games and I have 15, uh, it's like flat, you know, whereas like he gets like 200 points for being in first place. And then maybe I get like 100 points for being in second place. Um, but the guy who got like five street games doesn't get a goddamn thing for it because he didn't make top three. Um, so I think uh, that's just I mean, am I am I describing this correctly? Doesn't he do I I don't want to be wrong and then have egg on my face, but uh Asmodeus crap. Dude, this, I'm loving, I'm loving this, uh, this ring of fire nonsense. It's great. It's amazing, really. I wish I could remember if, uh, if ring of fire is this big in mainline or if they buffed it. Uh, where's my identify? Do I not, do I really not have identify? I guess I'll wear this, but oh boy, I'm gonna have to recast everything. Well, it's our elect, but nah. I was gonna maybe wear it if it was MR plus, but oh hey, 
We can't Oz armor with the Ring of Flames up, but we're, we're having such a uh, chad time with Ring of Flames. I think we're going uh, to unravel Oz armor. We'll just wear something heavier later once we find a nice artifact armor, perhaps. We can Oz armor first. Well, that... That'd be interesting. Nope, it takes it off. It removes it. I keep expecting, um, I keep expecting there to be like janky little bugs like that, considering that this is a fork that's probably developed by like one dude. So I, I keep expecting there to be just like little oversights, you know. Um, but honestly, no. It, it, I haven't really seen a single really blatant oversight at all uh, in this fork. So I mean, good, good on good on Flood Killer, I guess. A few tournament games to the banners. I mean, that's that's uh, that's cool. I mean, if you don't have roughly 5 billion hours on your hands, I don't blame anybody who just plays the tournaments casually, and, and if they get fun out of it, I mean, honestly, that's probably a, a, that's probably healthier. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know how to describe how much you uh, have to know life those tournaments to have a shot at the first place for uh, a single, single player or, or clan, you know? Um, I would like to emulate these guys. And that, the thing is that they, I think they sort of made these wacky little mealy-mouthed arguments that like, uh, you know, oh yeah, we, we, we made these, uh, we made these tournament changes so people would spend less time, uh, no-lifing, because this is like, this is getting out of hand, you know, because like that, that Yermak guy wins every single year because he's just, he's just able to out-time everybody else, really. I mean, I, the guy can survive on like three hours of sleep, apparently. I'm convinced that, uh... That, that Yermak is actually like three Russian hobbits uh, like in a trench coat and while one sleeps the other two play DCSS or he could be he could actually be undead that's possible a vampire um, he certainly is very skilled at the game I'm not I'm not denigrating uh, his skill at the game at all um, I am merely saying that uh, it's a huge advantage for him that he has, uh, he's able to take like two weeks off of work and do nothing but DCSS and also only sleep like three, four hours a night. Russian Hydra, they sleep in turns. I mean, there's this one tournament where, I mean, he, he, that's part of the reason why I never go for the, um, the first place or even back in the day, I never went for first place, uh, in, in, uh, the non group category because I mean, I just found it to be less fun for one. I, I thought the coordination was a huge amount of the fun in the old version of the tournament, you know, but the other reason was I just, I didn't want to know life that hard, you know, um, and I mean, there was this one tournament where, uh, Dennis, the, uh, the Brazilian, uh, DCSS player who is very, uh, he has his own stream, you guys should check him out if you get a chance, he, I don't know, I don't think he plays DCSS anymore, but, um, he, he, nearly uh, took a tournament off of Yermak, who wins, I think he's won like every single tournament ever, um, but he nearly took a tournament off of Yermak while spending something like, I don't know, like 50% of, of the time uh, playing. And um, Man Mad said something along the lines of, like in his mind, Dennis was the actual winner of that tournament because it was, he was like, he was like 100 points away but again, he had spent he had spent like half the time playing that uh, the Yermak had, and I I can pretty much agree with that. I mean, so it's not to say that the old version of the scoring was not flawed because it certainly was. I think it's basically impossible to make a perfect uh, scoring system for any kind of tournament in this game. Uh, oh, he stepped on the pressure plate. Okay, I, I'm just gonna dig this out. But um, I think. I think the problem, I think the no-life problem is actually worse in uh, contemporary tournaments than it was before. In some ways, anyway. Uh, oh boy. Scatter 
shot you. I'm gonna use another ammo. Oh no! I'm taking damage. Well, you know what I've got? Harp of healing, baby. Oh no, I'm surrounded. Can I, uh... Can I out-heal all these guys? Maybe. I've got 28 evasion. I, I can apparently jump around while they're uh, while I'm playing my harp. I want more evocations. I want that to like 15. Some weird shit in Discord categories. Yeah, that's the thing. I wanted to bring that up, but I couldn't. I couldn't really remember uh, exactly exactly what there was. Um, this is looking pretty bad. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's, uh, Jesus, if I, I have D-Missile up, I probably don't die if I jump over here. I almost just want to, like, press dot again. How did I take damage? What's actually damaging me? Uh, deflect the bolt of poison. So what is it that hit me? I took a bunch of damage last turn. Is it just the explosions? That doesn't make sense, because I'm RF++++. plus plus plus. Feel a bit more experience. Fire explosion engulfs you, engulfs you. Spits poison at you, misses. Deflect the bolt of poison. So what's damaging me? And maybe it is just the fire. That's weird. Uh, I'll wait one more turn. Let's see what happens. I should be able to out heal all this stuff. Well, that kind of worked. And things are dying around me, so. That's less damage coming my way. It's critically important to do more things like kill every unique and climb ziggurats. There are, th there are three people in the .26 tournament who did 29 Nemelex choices. It's just insane. All of them had to do it because the guy below them got 5,000 less points than those three. That just sounds unfun. I mean... That you're just, like, stuck doing Nemlex choices constantly. I mean, ugh. I liked the old tournaments because people could specialize a little bit more. And I guess if you, uh, I guess if you're, like, just going for team wins, then you can still do that. But, eh. By the way, we're not healing. Th this this uh, harp effect is, like, way less great than we, than we saw the last time I played Gooncrawl because my evocations is only five. Oh, my God. This is nuts. I really shouldn't be doing this, but it's just it's just too fun. I think I can just harp endlessly, by the way. So, like, my fire is killing things. While my harp is healing me endlessly. If I had a little more evocation, we'd be... This would be less terrifying. I wonder... You know what I wonder... If I'm training evocations and the and the healing is going up as I do it, that would be interesting. Move fast and break things. I'm I'm moving slow. I'm just like casually playing my harp while things burn around me. I mean my HP's going down, it's going back up. Did Zuckerberg say that? Is that a Zuckerberg quote? Oh, this healing is bad. Holy shit! Oh no, I think I have to stop fucking around. They finally made me. They finally made me. I don't know, do I wait one more turn? No, wait. What What did the damage to me? I'm guessing it was an attack by the Nagaraja. Hits you with a plus zero spear. Time for no fun. I was having so much fun. The Shock Serpent is dead, though, is the thing. That was the thing that was uh, doing a lot of damage to me consistently. Let's see. Uh, he can swing on me for 27 damage plus the spear. So with, with my GDR, it probably wouldn't kill me. Oh yeah, I can unfuck this. There's, there's no question. I just want to... I'm just being greedy. Yeah, so if the Nagaraja hit me twice, which he can because he's hasted... Uh, and the ritualist hit me, I would die, probably. And of course, there's this guy can't reach me with his spells. But oh man, what a shame! I was I was having a lot of fun with this. 
I could, I could, well, no, I'm going to heal. Hold on. I'm going to heal before my next action. So if I wait, I heal, let's say at least five. I'm going to do one more. And I end up with less HP. Come on, bro. My EV is 25. Let me, let me like, just like miss a couple of attacks. Actually, a couple of attacks did miss. I definitely could have died there. Let's, let's get out of here. This isn't, uh, I couldn't die there because the Nagaraja can't. Well, hold on. What's the range on poison arrow? That might be enough. Whoops. Should have been phase shifting. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, see, interesting thing about Ring of Fire is I, c I can't fog cloud here like I would kind of like to. Boop. How about my regen, bro? I guess I don't have the amulet of... Uh, of regen on anymore. That's okay though. It's hilarious. <laughs> this is the end vault, by the way. Um, like, that's why there's so much shit in here. We just need AC and maybe a shield, probably a shield. What I'm doing over here is actually insane. Also, what is going on? Do I not get... Is it not spawning the, uh, the spectral weapon anymore because, I've, because I have fires all around me? That would be cute. Spawns when I swing. I don't see that happening. Reach to attack, you slice the Nagaraja. Yeah, I don't think it likes the fire cloud, so it just won't spawn inside of them. We're not seeing any messages about it, but. It would be bad if it died to the fire. And hurt you. Well, yeah, that that's actually brings me to another point, which is this is another example of the goon crawl dev not being lazy, um, or maybe this just kind of was a happy accident that he didn't specifically set up. I just know that as uh, as Tony just said, it would be quite bad if it died to the fire and hurt you. Now it is resistant to fire, so that probably wouldn't happen very quickly, but um, it's just polished. It feels polished. I don't know if I should be giving credit to him for that, because again, it might just be the code kind of conveniently making that that be the thing that happens, but um, all I know is that it's good. It's good, and I can see how it could have been bad if, uh, if designed slightly differently. Disc of Storms, baby, best item in the game. Sadly, we have no Aralek except for the Robe of Clouds. A couple of other things, I guess. I guess I could just wear a Staff of Air and use it. Bob Ross programming. Yeah! Based. Yeah, pretty much, uh, pretty much Tony. In fact, I'm gonna probably, uh, I'm gonna probably amnesia off Spectral Weapon. Just to get the, just to reclaim the spell levels. Hey, you think Tornado's permanent? I'm just kidding, of course it's not. That'd be hilarious if it was, though. Oh, maybe it is. <laughs> Has to be a level 15 spell. Darkness is permanent? Now, that that's a thought. No, it's not. Good idea, though. Right, I'm going to do something a little bit different today. Uh, I'm going to try to finish this uh, this game up. Normally I do four runes. I think we're only going to do three. Uh, I'll let you guys vote on whether you want me to do... Uh, slash poll. I'll let you guys vote on, uh, on whether you want me to do slime or vault. We are definitely more set up to do um, 
to do vaults, uh, but that might change based on what we find in orc here. I'm also just going to tab through orc, which is, uh, we, we, we still haven't found any MR. Wait, yeah, we did. We found an MR ring that I'm apparently wearing and forgot about. Uh, nevertheless, we can be paralyzed by orc sorcerers. I know that I did a poll earlier saying that I was supposed to tempt fate with, uh, with haste or whatever, but, uh, we already discovered the answer to that, that it's not going to make me hasted forever, so we won't do that. But yeah, I will uh, abide by whatever you guys select for which uh, branch you want me to do. And we'll just quickly tab through here, and I'm not going to worry too much about a 4% para chance. It could end the run, but it's very unlikely. Grab some heavier army here, hopefully. Scattershot, clowns. Not going to bother with the shards of Zot. It says vaults. Okay, we'll do vaults. Um, beast, phantom mirror. I'm not going to buy that stuff yet, though. Fear, recharging, identify, tally. Probably don't need identify. Mo. Again, just putting it on the shopping list. Hope we find a uh, orange crystal plate. That'd be pretty sweet. Hey, Quicksilver Dragon Scales. Now that's an option. That is a that is a real option. I was hoping for something a bit heavier, but I cannot complain. Uh, am I lagging? I think I'm lagging, or Kelby's lagging. Oh no, I should stop tabbing. It's uh, it's Saint Roca. Uh, it is always worth doing Elf Three. Um, the only reason that I was going to not do that was just for time. I was going to try to quickly finish and maybe make the game a little bit more challenging. Um, if I was playing truly optimally, uh, you would see me doing both slime and vaults. Uh, we would probably, gosh, what would the turn order? What would the what would the order be? It would be um, this character. It's a Che character. Um, choices are vaults, slime, and elf. We have dig wands. Uh, we'd probably go into elf right now. I'll let you. Uh, also, welcome to the stream, uh, wild uh, wild is bot. I'll let you guys decide if you want me to do Elf 2. I can throw that in. Anyway, we found a, we did find some plate armor. <laughs> oh shit, it's punk! It's punk, you guys! Am I gonna have to become a sling character real quick? Gosh, we found all this crap in here that's just like really expensive. And we're broke. Blackrock uh, bought my house out from under me, and now I'm poor. <laughs> Could ruin our character with C-plate. I mean, we should still be able to cast our, uh, you know, our, our little uh, goon crawl scald spells. So, well, it's, we have crystal plate. It might not be the orange crystal plate, but you know up there possibly could be like plus 24 watch it be like plus zero plate of sucking ass you guys want me to do elf okay brilliance is old brilliance so we can cast whatever Ooh, old brilliance a eh? let's grab all this gold and see well, we've got the money for the Crystal Plate armor. It's really hard for me to turn down Punk, but uh, I think I have to take the Crystal Plate for the meme. Now, now again, if I was playing optimally, I would not touch this Crystal Plate armor because <laughs> there's just a too high of a chance that it's going to be garbage. Uh, it is garbage. Well, it's it's garbagey. I mean, it's only plus one, so obviously we don't want to use it forever, but it's... Uh, I mean, it's got MR on it. It's It's got that. Optimal. 
well, that's, you know, that's a thing. That's, uh, I don't hate it. I am a bit sad. I, uh, I, I wear, I wear a frown, my friends. Um, I was going to do something. I was going to recast my spells. Which we can, in fact, continue to cast. Region. It's very low. Based crab, yeah. Well, if I found like a like a normal crystal plate, we could start enchanting it. I feel I feel very bad now that I enchanted my troll leather armor. How much uh, ER does C plate have for us? Uh, I guess it would be 17. Uh, and we have very good. I mean, honestly, the crab is like a, a particularly good Che character because we have we have both armor and dodging aptitudes that are pretty great. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna tab through here like a bit of a madman. Our resistances are just not cut out for this, but uh, we have a couple potions of resistance and just whatever. We'll make it work. Honestly, the crystal plate's not the best thing to have on in here because I'd rather be uh, dodging spells, but it's crab bedtime. Now, honestly, if you think about it, like a crab is probably pretty comfortable wearing armor to bed. I mean, he's, he, he just wears armor in his regular life if he's totally naked, right? So, seems okay. Shower thoughts, I guess. I forget if uh, icicles get melted when they go into flames, into flame clouds. <laughs> Yay! Yay, I'm slow! You deflect the bolt of cold. Holy shit, dude! You know, I'm RF, uh, I'm RC minus right now uh, because of, uh, because of Ring of uh, Flames. So this could do, oh, there it is! Oh wait, no, that's just torment, never mind. I was going to say, that could probably do like 150 damage to me or some shit. Probably more. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if it could have one-shotted me. I didn't feel like doing the math, but it's... I'll tell you what, I'll do the math just because it's it's uh, it's funny. Okay, uh, Ice Fiend. Bolt of Cold. Uh, 3D, 27. So let's just round that to 90. It's actually more like 81. Uh, okay, what's, what's 81 times 1.5? So... I guess it's uh, more like 120 damage. It's still quite a lot. Less than I thought, but... I was probably thinking of, like, Ancient Lich Bolt of Cold or some shit. By the way, we have Berserk Itis. That's what that blue stuff is. I'm really playing like a madman here, but that's okay. It's more fun that way, right? Suddenly I'm, uh... In my old age, understanding why uh, Dennis plays like a, a madman and basically speedruns every single one of his games. I think he was just fucking bored of DCSS and uh, wanted to <laughs> wanted to add some challenge and flavor to his games. Uh, should we do salt? Should we do salt today? Salt boys. I don't know, I'm worshipping Che. Salt does extra damage to me. Just walking on it. Just kidding. Honestly, we could die in here. There's like some of these guys can lightning bolt and we don't have our elect. I'll probably deflect most of it. This fella's fun. Uh, why don't we do a little slouching? Always salt. Well, I mean, the thing about the thing about salt is there's like one billion artifacts in here, so I guess this might solve some of our item troubles, and I can turn myself into a true king pimp, so to speak. Uh, yeah, it it does. I didn't think of that, but that's true. Unfortunately, uh, as you can see, there are fellas in here who can just make my clouds go away. Oh wait, what am I doing? I just activated my Disc of Storms. I'm kind of glad it didn't work. 
I don't have our elect right now. Quite a few fellows, yes. Quite a few fellows. Ring of Zom's approval. You know, I think I can live without Zom's approval today. Although wearing an ice, uh, wearing an ice ring at all times wouldn't be, wouldn't be the dumbest thing to do on this character. Why is he invisible unnecessary? Did I get that as a mutation? Yes, I did. Disquisition, 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 if I can say that word, on quantum good luck. That is a, that is a neat name for a book. Unfortunately, it didn't have any uh, spells that I don't know already. Disquisition. I swear I know how to speak English. Uh, Stark Road? Hell no. Hell no. Have I found anything? Is there anything in my inventory that could make my life easier? Doesn't look like it. We found some books. Simulacrum. Corpse Rot, Agony, eh. It's old school Agony, so it's uh, functional, but we're a bit late in the game for that to be anything we care about. It's kind of insane that I'm tabbing this stuff, by the way. Like, this is um, a pretty dangerous uh, sub-branch or portal vault, whatever you want to call it. Especially with a scythe. We are still using Sigmund's plus nine scythe. Arguably the worst weapon in the game. At zero skill. We really have built a, uh, a silly guy here. It can be fun though. It can be fun to go out of your way to not play optimally. Is a Scythe of Venom optimal? Oh shit, I didn't even rebrand it. I've actually, I actually found a brand weapon scroll and didn't bother to rebrand it. That's how much attention I'm paying. <laughs> I'm just like showboating. I, I, I should lose this character just on account of doing that alone. Summon Guardian Golem, summon Demon. I have become Sigmund. Ah, there we go. That's pretty cool. I've always wanted to run into a Sigmund with, uh, with like finisher or something. I don't know if it's possible. Oh shit, there it is. There's the ring. There's the ring we always wanted. Uh, it's less cool because of the fact that we have RF++ uh, plus 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 already. So, I mean, I guess I could like stop using ring of, uh, ring of uh, flame all the time, but, uh, oh man. What a silly amulet. Finisher one is to kill PCs. Oh, I, I know. It's just for style. Ring of, uh, Scythe of Curses is fine, too. Whatever. Just just an artifact scythe is really all I mean. Even a even an unrand. Or a, a non-unrand. An un-unrand would be satisfactory. But I've, I've only... I've never seen him with a, with a uh, you know, white name scythe. Rand art, yes. That is uh, the word I was looking for. Okay, let's, uh, let's leave. Shockingly, didn't find anything terribly interesting in here, except kind of we found, uh, I guess we found Olgrebs, which... It says it's our poise, but it actually makes us immune to poison, which is a slightly different situation. So that's uh, kind of cool. Technically, we can evoke this thing to do wacky bullshit, a Venom Bolt, and uh, Toxic Radiance at the same time. We could go Sea Blink for no reason. We, we could. I didn't see that I had picked that up. That's uh, technically something we could do. We could see if Invis is permanent. I, I seriously, seriously doubt it. Olgrebs is crazy good early mid-game. Yeah, we're, we're unfortunately uh, like right past the moment where it would have been, been amazing. It's still probably okay in here. Um... I don't really want to fool with it. Let's uh, stop picking up Polymorph. Uh, let's see if I remember which wands I don't like to carry around at this point. A flame, I guess? Uh, that's good for now. 
situationally useful, right? Yep. Did I have 69? Nice. Tab, tab, tab. Are we gonna just, uh, are we gonna win this game with a zero skill scythe in our hands that we've actually used to tab? Because that would be kind of funny, especially if I kept it as a scythe of venom, just for the meme. Have I missed any artifacts? Hmm. I think we should just use punk, to be honest. Song of slaying is better than training. <laughs> Well, it's not going to make us attack faster, but I suppose it will make our attacks matter more. If I cast Poison Cloud, will it insta-ignite with your Flame Aura? That is a really cool idea for the spell to do that, but unfortunately no. Uh, only Ignite Poison can do that. If I was uh, King of the Universe, though, I would probably make Ring of Fire do that just because it's an underused spell. And I think it's... Uh, I think one of the most fun ways you can take a spell that's not really used and turn it into a spell that's used more is to give it a bunch of like wacky corner cases where it does cool shit, you know? Ignite Poison should be a permanent charm. Uh, yeah, you should... I bet they would consider that. That sounds like a cool idea, to be honest. Although, there are situations where you would not want it to do that. Like, if you're fighting... Uh, a Lindworm... Uh, you, you want to poison him, you don't want to use fire on him, you know? Oh, wait a minute, is he... What? Lindworms are not resistant to fire? Whatever. Think of a monster that's resistant to fire, but not poison. Maybe a fire giant. Yeah, fire giant. So, I mean, ultimately it would be it would be better in most cases, but not all. Honestly, the, co the cool thing about... The cool thing about Ignite Poison is that you can have them in the poison cloud for a minute and then turn it to flame after they're like max poisoned, you know? So you're getting like double, you're double dipping on the damage as uh, time goes by. I don't know if that's optimal, but it certainly is fun. Oh, I just took a step at chase speed next to a guy that can, uh, <laughs> next to, next to a fella that can hellfire me. Don't, don't do that. It's a bad thing to do. Honestly, swinging with this thing is, is probably a mistake as well. We want nice uh, speed one attacks, really, if we have to. If we have to do this. Whatever, I'll take the risk. I don't even have... Uh, I don't have resist negative either, so even, even death, uh, death guys are... Kind of a, a danger for me. Oh boy! All right, fine. We'll 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 abuse silence if you're gonna make me. Let's do this thing, boys. Extremely reckless. Uh, Master Archer. Huh? Your power feels drained, sustaining your protection from missiles. That's interesting. My D-missile stayed up. So the way D-missile works in mainline... Actually, I think they took out D-missile in mainline. But the way D-missile used to work is that uh, eventually, every, like every single time you get shot with something, there's a chance that your D-missile goes away. In this, it looks like it just like sucks some more mana out of me um, if I happen to have it available. Which is uh, interesting. It's an interesting way to go about, uh, you know, trying to keep it balanced. Song of Silence win. Wouldn't be much of a song. <laughs> I wish I had more uh, ammo. That'd be cool here. This cloud's up here. Oh, we got the best cloud in the game, baby! Do I need to silence these guys again? Hurl Hellfire. Silence won't stop him. Uh, whatever. Fuck it, let's go. Let's go. Yep, he steps into the acid and dies. 
thought something like that might happen. Uh, I would not say that the scrolls are just paper. Um, it may seem that way because the silence uh, spell is superior in terms of, uh, like, obviously it reaches further and it lasts for longer. However, there is one way that the silence scroll is much better, which is no chance of failure. Yeah, the Zerk kind of fucked me over here pretty bad. Uh, I am silenced with uh, three different guys, well, two different guys that can torment me and then one guy who can hurl uh, Hellfire at me. I don't think that they will do this with this fella here. You know, I don't think they're going to hit their own guys that much, but uh, they certainly could. Message for the blog people. Blog people. The bloggers? The people who read my blog? Alright. I need to kill this particular demonologist. Um, it looks like Gooncrawl does not have the thing that shows me uh, who this Hell Sentinel belongs to, but I'm reasonably sure it's that one. Um, I have I have memed myself into quite the quite the pickle uh, being silenced here like this. What I could do if I wanted to be real cute is I could just go ahead and cancel this off of me. Yeah, it's it's Elf three. Uh, I could also just try to scatter shot from this far away. I'll do some damage to him. And he's in flame. I think I'm just going to do that. And he doesn't die. That's, uh, that's a shame. That's a shame. Uh, I really wanted him to bite the bullet there. Hmm. We have no more scatter shot. Hmm. This isn't ideal. Good story for me off stream. Okay. I guess it's acid time. Yep. Okay, good. Now I just have to worry about getting tormented a bunch. Cannot read. No, cannot read recharge and silence. Okay. Uh, we're going to keep using. Going to keep using acid wand. He doesn't want to die. The arrow hits me for a ton of damage. That's no good. Now I'm being very careful to aim like this because if it were to hit the two guys in front of me, the distance would get reduced twice. I think it would still hit the demonologist, but I don't even want to worry about it, you know? Mana potion step from time. Can't step from time. I'm silenced. There we go. There we go. Okay. That's better. Still not ideal, but we're getting there. Uh, if things get really bad, I can start sucking down heal wounds. Technically, the right thing for me to do in this situation, by the way, was to uh, drink Cancel and Link away. But uh, I decided to go for the showboating strategy again. <laughs> uh, purple smoke. I want to cloud these guys, but the demonologist wouldn't get hit. Um, so I think I'm just going to use Acid Wand. Reflect the arrow off an invisible shield around you. The master archer dies. Based. Nice. Shit. Oh, shit. Uh. Harp. We're playing the harp, bro. Playing the harp through the poison. <laughs> Based. Yes, we can harp. We, we, we can and we did. B-b-b-b-based. Cursed Ring of Loudness. Um, Ring of Pro Cold. Honestly, I'm just going to drop the Ring of Pro Cold. Yeah, Ring of Fire is permanent. This is Goon Crawl, so a lot of the Charms abilities are, uh, they last forever and take away your max mana as a, uh, as a trade-off for that. It's a lot of fun. If only you could evoke loudness to remove silence. That'd be interesting. Or just to make, like, a shitload of noise. Or to mark, to mark yourself. How about that? That'd be interesting. Probably a bit overpowered, to be honest. But who cares, you know? 
Like, oh no, it's overpowered. The fact is, this is a game with, you know, Minotaur Berserkers, so, like, I think that if you occasionally find something that's reasonably strong in the, uh, in the late game, that's okay. Holy shit, is Disjunction permanent? If, if Disjunction was permanent, that would be hilarious. I mean, really funny. Uh, irradiate. Virulence, we found a new spell. Uh, Destruction is the one, uh, I used to consider it a necessity for winning the game with, uh, like, way, way before I, I had streaked a bunch of games. Uh, I, uh, I think, actually, before I started the world record streak, uh, Disjunction, I considered it necessary to win if you were, uh, gosh, there was some narrow situation where I had to have it. Um, if I wasn't worshipping Zen... I would always get disjunction because I thought that you had to... I was like full Leo little book. I thought that you had to have Zen to, to make your orb run safe so that you could just like imprison things and, and, and uh, sanctuary away. And if you couldn't for some reason worship Zen, you had to have disjunction. What it does is, is like it makes this field of purple bullshit around you. Just, just like teleports things away from you as you walk up to them. Abjuration permanent. You know, it's abjuration is such a funny spell because like I've had so many people who are good at this game tell me that it's like the most important spell and I just like hate using it. Um, I guess it's just kind of like a different tool for the job, so to speak. Um, I, I tend to deal with summons by like just very rapidly murdering the thing that summoned the enemy that's about to be my ass. Um, abjuration, my understanding is that a decent spell power I mean, maybe you can tell me more, because honestly, I've never, I've never used it in an extended run, like, really, really extensively. But uh, my understanding is that it, it, you know, once you get the spell power up, it actually does make things disappear pretty fast. But, um, I don't know. It's, uh, generally, I can just find a way to, to kill the summoner pretty quickly. Never seen anyone say it's mandatory. Maybe mandatory is not the word I'm looking for, but they, they, I've, I've definitely seen people say it's like one of the best spells. Um, and I've never been able to really agree, but at the same time, I have to admit, I've just not spent a whole lot of time fooling with it. Used to think it was mandatory before it was an aura. Yeah, I think you could just like instantly poof things, like just make them disappear. Someone's got canceled by killing the summoner. Oh, well, that's a whole different story. Yeah, and like really old versions of Crawl where you couldn't just, uh, just nuke him away by killing his owner. Grab that yellow book. Uh, we already have it. It's a Young Poisoner's Handbook. I'm going to stop picking up scrolls of Identify. We've got a very messy inventory. Wonder why Ring of Fire doesn't burn books. We're not a Trog worshiper, bro. Oh, that's why you wanted me to... Oh, look, it's I Can't Find a Name. What a great name. Can we tab him to death? Yeah, we can. I haven't seen too many ghosts on here. Ah, uh, yeah. Virulence. Oh, uh, I didn't mean to memorize it. Hold on. Describe. I didn't. I didn't memorize it. Do, 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 do. Makes a targeted creature more vulnerable to poison. Completely immune. Creatures are not affected. Not terribly interesting. I don't know if we're gonna mess with that. Um, if it could strip poison immunity, now that'd be interesting. Singularity is an old spell that they removed because they said it was too powerful. It was reasonably strong, but it was also a level 9 translocation spell, which is a school that not a lot of people get that powerful. I don't think it was overpowered at all. I think it was a ton of fun. Uh, it makes a little black hole, basically, that uh, pulls monsters towards them and does damage. Yeah, it was really lame. A lot of, pe a lot of people were upset about that removal. I mean, it was fun. It never felt overpowered to me. I got to play with it a little bit. Honestly, I, I want to know if... <laughs> I want to know if this junction is permanent. There's no way, right? Dude, does it say in the descriptions? 
Cast and spell again will cancel the spell's effects. Cast and spell again will cancel the spell's effects. Bro, uh, more, more, more power to this flood killer guy. He actually took the time to change the descriptions when he made changes to the spells. Sounds like such a small thing, right? So many forks just don't bother. Um, and I think it's little, little things like that, little touches of professionalism that, uh, to me are more impressive than anything else. It just kind of shows that somebody gave a shit, you know? Um, it's something that mainline fails to do half the time, which is infuriating. Uh, yeah, I agree. Doesn't he? Although that does, uh, I guess add more power to conjuration, but who, who, who cares? <laughs> you know. Uh, anyway, yeah, disjunction based on the fact that you can't cancel it uh, tells me it probably doesn't stick around forever, which is a shame. So unless there's a particular spell you guys wanted to see, I'm probably not going to go for either of those. We we could we could go for singularity if you want to see it. I would uh. Most likely want to see time stop, but uh, sadly that's not available. Singularity would allow us to grab C blink too. Well, we're gonna to need to get out of this crystal plate probably if we want to do that. Do we have the money? I'll tell you what, when we have the money, we'll probably just like pop on over to Quicksilver Dragon Scales. I mean, I guess we could check out that artifact Steam Dragon Scales, but there's like there's like no way it's going to be useful. <laughs> um, all right, sure, just for fun. Uh, translocations to like 20. 12 hours of drinking. Wow. Drink, drink water, bro. Happy New Year. Let's just let's just tap through these vaults, yeah. I think we should be able to do that. I'm a little bit of a madman for doing this next to the uh, that wizard, but I think he died in the fire. A case of beer has already worn off on you. Yeah, that's true. When when you when you stretch it out that long, you get you get less. Uh, you know. The debuff starts to wear off, you know. Take it easy, praise Che. Based. De, De Pablo, welcome to the stream, man. Well, yeah, your, your liver's doing work the whole time, you know, from the minute that it gets into your bloodstream. Did we just, uh, let's see, did we get, nope, oh, I misspelled that. Did we get a dragon armor? We did not get a storm dragon armor. Okay, let's just keep on tabbing. We are, we are still training translocations. We're going to get that all the way to 20, and we'll just, uh, we will fool around with singularity. Entitled demanding idiots. Government contractor, wow. I remember my days as a government contractor. What a terrible time that was. But yeah, I don't blame you, man. It's totally insane that I'm just tabbing next to the uh, that wizard using a scythe with zero skill. It's like absolutely not the optimal thing to do at all. Uh, you saw like a couple of crystal spears just fly by me. I'm not even using a shield, but I do have D missiles, so it's not the. Uh, we're not even diesel. That's the funniest thing. Is you're right. We're not. Let's take spell casting to 15. Wife might be home from treatment in August. Did I have an aneurysm and forget what's going on? Maybe you didn't tell me. Is she doing okay? You told people? Did, was I present for this conversation? 
Oh, you're talking about Ring of Flames. <laughs> I thought you were talking about Alf. Uh, Ring of Flames is not underpowered. It's really strong. Um, it's just... Well, even in mainline, it's not bad. It's just, like, one level higher than I would... than I would like it to be, you know? Um, which is not to say that it's bad, you know? Um, but it, it protects you from, despite giving you RC minus, it protects you from most of the ice spells in the game, uh, and because of, by virtue of the fact that like Bolt of Cold will just kind of vanish against one of the uh, one of the flame clouds, uh, and it also just like does damage to stuff over time, and it increases your RF plus to the point where it like gives you everything you need to uh, to be able to tank uh, orbs of fire long enough to to do something about them, you know. So. Uh, I mean, it's helpful if you still have some AC and stuff, but nevertheless, uh, it gets you to the level of RF that you would prefer to be at, you know, just by giving you RF++. So yeah, it's a great spell. Um, I just think it's like, it's not immediately obvious that it's, that it's great, you know. Number of chronic issues. A nice house. Man, how is that? Uh, five months. Holy shit, that fucking blows, dude. I hope... I hope that uh, comes to an end soon and improving. That's good. Being, I wouldn't want to be in a hospital for five months, even a nice one uh, in particular right now, you know. All this nonsense going on. Well, best, best of luck, man. Far I said get well soon. Well, I guess... He already said she's getting better, so that's uh, awesome. Oh shit. Uh, let's clouds. Again, this is one of those situations where, like, you've got an annoying summon right in front of you, so you go straight for the guy who summoned it. I'm using Acid Wand to uh, sort of blast through, you know. Probably didn't need to do that second one. The clouds probably would have solved it for me. Yay, Bizarchitis. I, st I still can't believe that we're doing uh, so well in melee, even even though my defenses are, like, okay. I mean, this is the dead-ass opposite of the way I usually play. Every single one of these attacks is taking 2.0 uh, turns, two, two turns. Which, I mean, probably the number one thing that I harp on uh, every, every single game. Uh, in a in a street game is like how important it is to keep your uh, to keep to to keep your attack speed below one, you know, just like shitting all over that wisdom, you know. I re I still remember the uh, the time Leo Little Book came to my Discord and like everybody in the Discord tried to explain to him why that was a good thing to do. And I'm convinced, I don't know, I'm convinced he was trolling or something because he kept saying, like, no, no, it's actually it's actually better to have a, a, a higher delay. <laughs> oh, she got COVID in March, barely noticed that it was less trouble than the flu. Yeah, I had it. Um, and I'm, I mean, I, I was, I had like a, I was sick for like a month. You know, which is long, probably longer than I've ever had an illness. But other than that, I mean, I was fine. I mean, it was not a pleasant time, but I wouldn't say I felt like I was like fucking dying or anything. You know. Uh. Hmm. I'm trying to figure out if I want to swap any items here. I rebranded my, uh, I was kind of playing on autopilot, and I rebranded my scythe, and now it's protection, which I would prefer not to have, so let's, uh, hey, we have flaming now, sweet. That'll do it. But yeah, I'm really just using the scythe for the memes now. There are like a million other weapons I could be using. Zero polearm skill scythe. It's hilarious. What do you guys think? Should I should I keep using the scythe until the end of the game just for fun? 
and maybe train some pole arms at some point so that it's not completely silly. Uh, inner flame, Lita's liquefaction. Could Lita's liquefaction be permanent? Nah, it times out. I'm doing it, Tony. It's flaming now. How could I lose? I'll take pole arms to five real fast. That's we'll just like instantly fly up there. Cheap levels indeed. That's playable. I think we could make it work even without training. It would just be kind of a miserable time. The the I'll tell you where the real problem would develop is is uh, orbs of fire. Attacking super slowly versus orbs of fire is not something that you want to do. I don't even give a shit if you, if you have RF plus plus plus. It doesn't matter. Like, that's a bad. You're gonna have a bad time. Sans Undertale will actually pop out of your uh, computer and punch you in the face. Not sure this character beats two orbs of fire. I'm not sure this character beats one orb of fire. No, he he beats two orbs of fire. He, he would have to spam slouch, basically. But after that, he runs out of piety and has a serious issue. Slouch gives you um, a certain amount of power to just, like, tell the game to fuck off for a moment, but can't really repeat that trick too many times in a row. You fool, Mr. Alstrom. This is a DCSS run. Ha ha! Uh, hey, there's a Robe of the Ark Magi. Get to the end of the bunch of knights and cry. <laughs> oh shit, I gotta stop tabbing. What am I doing? Oh man, Kelby doesn't like this. Kelby's, Kelby's lagging. The knights are crying. <laughs> yeah, the, the flames are making them have a, a rough time. Honestly, I should probably not be coming up and down like this with, uh, with this, uh, hornet around. Let's, let's, let's be a complete and total madman and use, uh, Disc of Storms. Wait a minute. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Freezing Wraith, RC minus. Oh wait, no, I don't have RC minus. I have RC null. You can't just cast Ring of Fire infinitely. <laughs> yeah, there's Wo Wojak Knights over here. Disc of Storms, no Aralek. Disc of Storms, no Aralek. Man, Goon Crawl's fun. Oh, shit, where did we take that damage from? The Vault Warden hits you with a plus zero longsword. That's that uh, that base damage of 36 coming to play. We forgot to turn Song of Sl Oh, shit! You're right, we did. I'll, I'll go ahead and start playing the Song of My People. I didn't realize that... Uh, I guess I thought it would magically turn on like automatically as soon as the silence ended, and that did not happen. Thank you for the reminder, friend. Okay. Let's uh let's memorize singularity. Can't cast it yet, probably on account of the fact that I'm in crystal plate armor, but we're getting up there. Ten ten translocations. Eventually. Eventually we will arrive. Hey, greetings and slam. How do you like this uh, plus nine scythe that I uh, that I that I that I took off of uh, Sigmund that I'm using at this point in the game for no no reason at all? Did I lose a bet? Well, um, oh, hey, Naughty Badger, thank you for the sub, man. Also, poggers. Uh, this is a request stream from Tony. Uh, he did not request that I play like a complete dope. Uh, I'm just doing that for fun. Uh, 
But he did request that I play Goon Crawl, Hermit Crab of Che. This isn't so good. What, was that really loud? I missed that. What did you say? Uh, about what? Yeah, the Che was my fault. The only thing he requested was Hermit Crab of Che Briados. Or no, no, he, he requested Hermit, Hermit Crab Wizard Goon Crawl, and then he requested the Peer Pressure Pledge, which means that I mutate every time I eat anything. Um, I said your name and didn't hear what I said. Oh, I said Green Eggs and Slam. What do you think about my plus nine scythe that I'm using at, uh, at this stage in the game for no good reason? Uh, anyway, it looks like we've been locked off here. I am slow from that bullshit berserkitis. Um, this is pretty bad. I should probably get out of here, especially since he made a copy of me. On the other hand, I could just kind of do this and hope that... Oh yeah, we got him! Based! One slot should do the trick. Yeah, I was thinking about teleporting, but... I mean, yeah, I can slouch, or I can... You know. Oh shit, what happened? Oh shit! Is that a Disto? Nope, that's Sajobo. What's up, Sajobo? Please, please note that uh, they, 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 they didn't... We're, it's the king of the Tengu. Well, how come they kept this change? It's bullshit. Someone protest a flood killer about this. Oh, you can see that elf? That's supposed to be private. Certain acronym. I have to check, but that sounds like something I would do. Yeah, I know, I know, I know you're a mod. I just realized that. Went to the Toohoo universe. <laughs> Toho, Toohoo. Let's uh, let's spam some slouch. I don't want to deal with this bullshit right now. I don't have our lek, believe it or not. I mean, technically, I could swap, but. It's pronounced Tao Hao, not Tu Hu. <laughs> okay, we have officially slouched our way into an easy kill. Uh, poop, there's so much stuff here, and I can actually... Wait, I can't be paralyzed, based. Okay, we'll slouch one more time, and we've officially screwed over our piety, that's okay. Um... Slouch is greater than all. It's quite good, but you do have to be careful not to overuse it because you can put yourself in a pretty bad situation if you do. Uh, let's see. This fire around me, you know what we're going to do? I think it's time to play my little harp a little bit. We're just going to chill out and let the fire do the work for us. Turns out, Ring of Flame with, uh, with, with the harp of healing is pretty fucking good. <laughs> Unfortunately, I went to full HP, so there are storm scales. We might swap to that. Although my uh, my lack of too many enchant armors makes me a bit sad. Uh, okay. Do I want to keep fighting here? Probably. Let's see, Titan can lightning bolt me. I have D missiles, so I'm probably okay. We're at full HP. Yeah, I know, I know. But even at full HP, you, you need to be able to like recognize when situations can turn south on you real fast. And considering the fact that I'm still using a goddamn scythe, uh, if I start swinging, things could go bad pretty quickly. I'll swing a couple times, we'll see what happens. It's just this particular configuration of enemies. I mean, I've got a couple of Titans, no Aralek. I've got the Convoker. Full HP means nothing in this game. That is, yeah, that's a pretty good philosophy. If you wanna, if you wanna win games pretty consistently, then you gotta. I mean, the number one mistake that I see people doing is they, uh, they teleport, and they're like, "Bro, I'm teleporting. How am I? Why did I die?" But they chose to teleport when they were already, like, at half HP. And, like, you'll probably, you know, I imagine it's almost kind of frustrating for people if they're not, like, really, really familiar with the game when when they see me teleporting at, like, full HP from certain situations, you know? Um, 
Yeah, Nani Badger is a, is a grave offender. He he dies all the time from teleporting at half HP on on demon spawn scalds, I assume. But um, no, I mean in all seriousness, like you just you just have to recognize that a situation has the capacity to well and truly deeply screw you over, you know, and and run, you know, long before there's a problem. You only play Demon Spawn. Demon Spawn's called. Not anymore. You don't. Not in mainline. Mainline's bad. It's true. Mainline is bad. I'm aquatic. I shouldn't be getting messed up uh, in my accuracy by this water. Okay, mind control that. Oh no, it's a lich. Okay. What did they do now? Well, they literally took Scald out of the game, so you, you, I'm saying you can't. You cannot play a Demon Spawn Scald anymore. Scald, Scald. I've pronounced that like six different ways today. You're just, you're just gonna have to, just gonna have to deal with that. <laughs> it's a mindless lich. He's mindless. Among us? Sus? Sus? Among us? Sus? I'm actually a bit concerned about the, what this lich can do. Uh, however, he's narrowed down his books for me a bit. I guess I'm somewhat more okay with, with those. Can my juvenile stingward beast actually, uh, actually do? Actually do it? Alf, if I was in your position, I would probably just pop open a can of tuna, but uh, I'm a bit of a slob like that on occasion. Not not usually, but sometimes. God, I'm tempted to slouch, and I think I'm I think I'm gonna actually fail to use your ability. Destroy the lich. Okay, good, and then we teleport. I think they nerfed regen, by the way. I'm not regenerating as fast as I think I ordinarily would be from the original regen spell. Oh, they have, um... Oh, he's making a joke about the fact that they changed, uh... I think he's joking about how like they changed magic resistance to willpower stupidly in mainline. And so when you look at uh, a lich, it, now it says like unlimited willpower. <laughs> uh, but yeah, they, they have uh, magic immunity is what it really is. Unlimited willpower. They're like anime villains. Yeah, well, they're um, no, their their spells aren't entire aren't, aren't mostly gone. A lot of them have been repurposed or renamed. I mean, like Wereblood is almost literally the exact same thing. Oh shit! I just wore an amulet of faith. All right, I guess we're stuck with an amulet of faith. I'm not I'm not taking that off. I could, but I'm not gonna. It's 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 a song of furry developers now. Oh, well, we could wear golden dragon scales. <laughs> oh shit! I think we may have found our endgame armor. Uh, I mean, I don't want to give up the MR plus, but that's quite good. Uh, fusion, deflect missiles. Reach in. I'm 
encumbrance rating goes down to nine with my uh, crab ability. It's not bad at all. Now we have to get singularity online. Well, I'm, I'm studiously training translocations, so perhaps soon. We're no longer straight up immune to ancient lich uh, MR targeting attacks, but it's a kobold in a naughty badger. Oh my god. It's by Susan. Uh, hmm. Now I wish I had purchased the, uh, what do you call it, the uh, emulation scroll. Let's take a step like this. So I'm not quite fighting quite so many things at the same time. I think we're going to have to do a little slouching. Alright, what up, girl? Um, I can tank Hydras, that's fine. Uh, less able to tank Primal Waves. Oh, oh, oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! I think I need to blink. That's a bad place to blink. Uh, do I wanna... I think I do. It's harp time, baby. Will it work? She's is she in the fire? She is her when it when it comes to my cool clouds versus her, her cool clouds. She's supposed to be surrounded by electric clouds, but uh, I'm afraid Ring of Fire is memeing her a bit too hard. Harp is working. Wait, did my harp run out? Wait, am I not harping anymore? Did I go to full HP? Did she shut me up somehow? What happened? You stop playing the harp. You deflect because I deflected a torrent of water and it and it dumped me into water. I guess that disturbed my harp playing. Okay. I'll I'll take it, I guess. You're too hungry to slouch. Hey, hey, she died to the fire. I mean that that is such an interesting... I didn't expect that, you know. I wonder if he specifically coded that into the game or if that's just like a side effect of something else, you know. If that makes sense. I don't know how to be more specific without going into a bunch of computer science bullshit as to why I have a suspicion that's not uh, something he necessarily intended. Intuitively understand your computer science bullshit. Very good. Uh, identify. I will spend 32 gold just so I don't have to change armors. Plus 8 plate mail. Kind of cool. But it has uh, things I don't need. I guess the int on the decks would be kind of cool, but meh. Look at me scything a gold dragon to death. <laughs> I'd fit right in it, Blizzard Activision. Oh my god. Talk about hoisted on your own petard. Those motherfuckers. Oh my god. Like the they they uh how does that phrase go? They uh they reaped the the whirlwind. No. They, they, uh, whatever. They, uh, they, br they brought some stuff down on themselves. You know, um, they've been pushing a bunch of leftist horse shit for years, you know. Uh, and if you don't even want to get into politics, that's fine. Uh, they've been running their intellectual property into the goddamn ground. You know, StarCraft II was like uh, this lame-ass love story you know, between Kerrigan and Raynor. And StarCraft 1 ended with Raynor, you know, watching Kerrigan, like, murder all of his friends. And then the last thing he says is like, yeah, no matter what, I'm going to murder you. <laughs> like, he's like, I'm going to get revenge for this thing. <laughs> you know. Uh, I was actually trying to, uh, I was trying to be cute about, uh, right, this is very, uh, 
this is this is this is, is going to be extremely deep lore uh, in Starcraft One. If you if you click if you click the ghost enough times, he says, if you call down the thunder, uh, you will reap the whirlwind or something something goofy like that. I was trying to make a very obscure reference. Uh, what's refrigeration? Uh, refrigeration is the spell that kind of works like uh, like uh, Olgrib's Toxic Radiance, where it's like an aura that you cast it, and then it does like just straight up does ice damage to everything on the screen, and I think it stops you from drinking potions for a while. At least some some version of it did. Um, but yeah, it's just Activision now. That that company that made all those great games from when you were a kid. That company was called Blizzard North, and uh, in in true business style, it was acquired by Blizzard. Uh, and you had really talented, um, skilled craftsmen like Bill Roper, who uh, gave a shit about making good games, and uh, they made some good games. And then the uh, the guys in suits took over, and uh, fucking ruined everything. <laughs> and that is the story of Blizzard. Uh, and ever since they realized they could make one billion dollars per year with uh, with uh, with World of Warcraft, they have stopped caring at all, pretty much. You know. Yeah, I saw staff form. We're not gonna we're not gonna take the easy way out today. I feel obliged to inform you inform you that for they have sown the wind and they shall reap the whirlwind is actually a Bible verse. You know, I thought it was something like that. Thank you. I really, I actually really appreciate you pointing that out. Oh, well, that's the thing. Um, they're, yeah, they're in trouble because uh, they have been sitting on their laurels for so long with this, like, golden goose, you know, just, like, tearing the, the golden, golden eggs out of its ass for, like, 20 years, uh, thinking that it can just never, ever stop giving them golden eggs. But World of Warcraft, man... Uh, it's, you know, there was no way it was going to last forever. They, and honestly, I see these people as not unlike, uh, drug dealers. You know, I, th I think that massively multiplayer online games, and you, you may think this is silly, but I genuinely believe that they are as psychologically addicting, if not more psychologically addicting as something like crack. There's no physical addiction. Sure. But, um, if you think about it, if you want to get really philosophical about it, there's really actually no difference between a physical and a psychological addiction. What I mean by that is with a psychological addiction, you know, uh, your brain has been trained to make all manner of happy chemicals when you do a certain activity. Uh, when you have a physical addiction, your body literally, you know, gets, uh, I, mean, I don't know the exact mechanism of it, but I know that, you know, you, you, you got to have that substance. It's like when you get like the DTs, when you're an alcoholic and you haven't had, uh, alcohol for a while, your, your body has become, you know, dependent upon that, that substance that's used to having it for whatever reason. But if it comes down to it at all, it's all just chemicals. It's just whether your, your body is making them or not. I mean, yes, I know there is a difference really, but I'm just saying they're both horrible things. Uh, and I'm not, I'm not actually sure if it's a terribly ethical thing to, to, to run a game like World of Warcraft, <laughs> you know, a subscription fee. Like, they're, if you think about it, their entire motivation as a company is not to, like, provide an interesting experience or enrich anybody's life or, or even, like, make them have a fun time, you know? They're, they're actually not motivated to make you have a fun time. If they can make those things happen, then sure, maybe. But their primary goal is just to make you fucking sit there clicking buttons, you know. In fact, their primary goal is to is to make you pay your subscription fee every month while playing their game as little as possible, you know. Unless they're trying to make you buy some kind of, uh, you know, in-game bullshit. I, I guess they have a ton of cosmetics and stuff now. Am I familiar with the Jagex money laundering, corruption, illegal gambling scandals? Um, that sounds familiar, but I don't, I don't know the specifics right off the top of my head. A naughty patcher. It's called being weak. A strong man can do. Yeah, no, I don't know if I. <laughs> I had this. I had this friend once who who said something like that all the time. Obviously, it was a joke. Uh, but he was like, "You won't try black tar heroin. You're not." <laughs> You're not manly enough. I was like, no, I'm not going to do that. 
<laughs> so, it's like, you won't try it just once and then stop. And I'm like, that's correct. I won't. I won't try it at all. <laughs> I think it was just like the fact that black tar heroin is the funniest name for a drug because it sounds terrifying and I cannot imagine why anybody would put something called that into their body. <laughs> just doesn't sound, uh, doesn't really sound like something safe to do, <laughs> you know? <laughs> Senseless grind each patch. Oh my god. It reminds me of the uh, the tar toast uh, sketch or skit on uh, The Whitest Kids You Know, if you guys are familiar with that. This guy's like walking around a party uh, and he's got like this plate. He looks like a, he looks like a, a waiter and he's got like this this plate of food or what it looks like food. And the guy's like, oh, what is that? Oh, this is, uh, this is tar toast. And it's like, it's actually supposed to be toast with like street tar on it. It's this whole thing. You should look it up. Um, yeah, it's the same thing, really. But uh, anyway, what are we going to do? What are we going to do for body armor, man? Uh, we're just going to stick with the chain mail. I guess we probably will. Boring, but effective. We could go grab a Quicksilver Dragon, but eh. Eh. Eh, I kind of want to buy Punk still, but I'm not gonna. Let's just go, uh, let's go win the game, you guys. The RuneScape injury. Come on, bro, you gotta, you gotta mine rocks or whatever in the wilderness and get, you know, go, go compete with the uh, Brazilian gold farmers or whatever. You know, I never played RuneScape, so I'm just kind of talking out of my ass. I don't actually know how that game works, really. I know it was like... Was that the earliest MMO, would you say? Does it predate EverQuest? Dude, why does Cause You Know is a great comedy group. It's hilarious stuff. You can find the original... You can probably find the, like, the original videos on YouTube in like glorious 420p or whatever. EverQuest was 99, RuneScape was 2001. Huh. What I said is something that does happen. Well, I did. I watched a video once where a guy was. I don't know if they were Brazilian gold farmers, but they were. They were gold. They were farmers who were mining something and they did not speak English. Um, I think he referred to them as Argentinians, but I also think he was joking. Um, and the whole video was like him, uh, player killing gold farmers. You guys, you guys probably know who I'm talking about. I can't remember his, uh, I can't remember his name, but he, uh, <laughs> he, uh, he uses like a Microsoft Sam type, type voice on his videos. And he and he made he writes this thing out where he makes it he makes it laugh, but it's like the most it's the most hilarious uh, robot laugh ever. It's like ha 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 ha! Oh wow! I mean, it, you, you you know what I'm talking about if you've seen one of his videos for sure. It was posted in the Discord, um, but he was like talking about how he was uh, the ultimate uh, player killer in that game. Jagex gold is worth more than a real standardized currency. Venezuelan. Yeah, it was it was Venezuelan. Which frankly I would believe because the Venezuelan currency has been devalued so fucking much due to uh due to incompetent governance and and so on and so forth. Um you know, for a while there uh, I'm going to shill cryptocurrency real fast. For a while there Bitcoin was keeping those people from starving because I mean the currency was was doing the uh, the same thing that the uh, that the that the Weimar Republic money was was doing back in the day and uh, sort of like hey look I need to I need to bring a wheelbarrow full of cash to buy this loaf of bread today like okay now I need to bring two wheelbarrows <laughs> and so if you if you're instead mining Bitcoin or selling your currency for Bitcoin you're uh, you know people talk about how Bitcoin is like changing value really quickly but i tell you 
Uh, apparently it was beating Venezuela bucks for stability for a while there. Um, maybe they were buying stable coins too, I don't know. I found a grand grimoire. Was he, was he singing every, was that a real thing that was happening? That's weird. I guess that's, uh... I guess that's not any uh, any worse than Andrew Yang uh, squirting uh, whipped cream into his uh, into his constituents' mouths. Bet you guys think I'm making that up. Google it. You'll be faced with the uh, the most awkward, uh, cringy video of all time. Yeah, there's this video of Andrew Yang, uh, and he's clearly just, like, drunk off his ass, uh, yelling, yeah, as he, uh, as, as, like, a couple of dudes are on their knees in front of him, and he's, uh, squirting whipped cream into their mouths, one by one. And the best part of the video is there is this, uh, very handsome Chad-looking guy who is clearly Yang's, uh, handler slash, uh, assistant slash secretary type, type guy. And he has this look on his face of, uh, like, horror. Uh, it's like this look on his face of, boy, I'm not going to have a job for much longer because this, this man's campaign is over. And uh, he's just, like, he's just like touching Yang on the shoulder. And I think you even see him mouth, we've got to go, okay, that's enough, or something along those lines. <laughs> I don't know. Just, just Google the video. You'll see what I'm talking about. It's great. Uh, I, I am, I don't know, a nutty badger. Uh, I don't know if that would make that. <laughs> I don't. I don't know if that would change the the dynamics of how weird that situation is. <laughs> uh, I think that's uh, that's bizarre behavior. No matter <laughs> no matter what. Yeah, he, he's just like he's clearly ways. He's like yeah. There's also a video of that guy. Um, oh shit! I'm tabbing into the enchantress and getting my. My shit pushed in. Let's slouch. Slouch is a good thing to do versus uh, versus Sprigans. Plus seven fairy dragon scales. Int minus five. Do we dare? What I wonder. Uh is the encumbrance on a fairy dragon scale. Wow, it's only five. We could Oz armor with this thing. Can I can I singularity with it on? 99%. 21 AC. Well I can't Oz armor because I'm using this. Going to zero in. That's not gonna happen with Che, my friend. We're gonna we're gonna keep the chain mail, I think. Chill thread, confusion, deflect missiles. I'm just like sitting here buffing up for 20 minutes. <laughs> what the fuck did I just watch? Doesn't I'm surprised you hadn't seen that. I feel like I posted that video every day for like a month in 2020 because it was so funny. Um, there's another there's another video where again I'm not sure if he's drunk or if he's just a very awkward individual, but he's he's eating pizza. He's walking, uh, he's walking, like, in front of a, uh, a pizza, like, a, it's like one of those, like, what, oh God, what's that one place called? It's like a pizza buffet or something like that, he's, and he's in front of this big, uh, countertop, just like, and there's, like, pizzas inside of it, and he's doing a little dance as he walks, and he's singing, uh, I like the pizza pizza, I like the pizza pie, I like the pizza pizza, I'm a pizza guy, or something like that, and, uh, yeah, should have been our president, you guys. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm just gonna acid this, uh, lich to death. What a man of the people. Hells yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was the Krusty Krab pizza song. I, I don't know if that's uh, the case, I don't... I don't, uh, I, I, I have not watched Spongebob, I'm afraid. The 
Krusty Krab Pizza song goes hotter than that. He was into it. He was going pretty hard. I didn't really do it justice. You'll have to see the video. Just Google, like, I don't know, Andrew, Andrew Yang Pizza Song YouTube. Core minus 12? How did I end up with core minus 12? Was I not paying attention? Oh, yeah, because of the 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 acid ugly thing. Dude, I don't, I don't... I'm just fucking... I'm on autopilot, you guys. I'm not even... The Malcolm Bot 9000 is the guy playing this game right now. It's not me. Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh, shit! <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm red drain, bros. I don't have any resist negative, and there's a halberd of draining here. Ah, okay, um, maybe I need to blink. Turns out, uh, my, my cool ring of fire spell doesn't really, doesn't really work out so hot versus things that are immune to fire. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. It's harp time, baby. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to slap these guys. I don't give a shit. I will spam all of my piety away. I'm using... I'm, I'm after all, I'm using faith. Oh, God said you were having too much fun. I mean, this is better. Whoa! They buffed it, baby! It's Lear's Hauberk! And unfortunately, I'm I'm too much of a of a of a crabbins to uh, you know too much of a hermit crab to actually wear it. I would really like to wear Lear's little little book today, all over my uh, my my cruciform body. Cruciform? No, that's not white. That's cru cruciferous? No, that's like a that's like a broccoli. What would be the word for cru cru crucifixion <laughs> for a for a crab? I know there's an adjective. Hmm. Crustacean? No. Close, but that's not actually what I'm thinking of. Faith equals infinite slash, more or less. Uh, it's not, uh... It's not infinite, but it's close enough, you know. It's enough to get you out of a nasty situation. Or several. Oh no, I shouldn't have bought so much stuff, that's okay. Sack of spiders, hey baby! My favorite item is here. Hells yeah. Uh, Halberd of Drain Halberd of Draining is uh, an amazing weapon for the early game. I mean, any anything that drains is uh, quite good in the early game. But no, at the point of the game that I'm in now, uh, it's uh, I really cannot stress how goofy it is that I'm using this stupid scythe. Um, if I was playing optimally, I would have swapped one of these broad axes a long time ago and a large shield. We are fooling around today. Uh, do I have recharge? Yeah, oh, I have a lot of recharge based. Get the scatter shot. I'm going to drop the disintegration, I think, because we're having inventory problems. Uh, Lear's Hauberk is actually a leather gimp suit. <laughs> Hmm, maybe. Hey, we found time stop. I don't think we're going to be having a chance to cast it. Because it's Hexus. And we're busy trying to get Singularity online. But maybe. We have all that uh, Zot experience and a little bit of Depths experience left. Do, do, do. Alright, let's go. Your coins being counted. I mean, oh, I could do, like, all kinds of bullshit. I mean, there's tons of game left. I'm just trying to finish, you know. I haven't even done slime. I'm breaking my cardinal rule of doing at least four runes, you know. Just because I'm wanting to, to finish at some point tonight before I starve to death in real life, you know. Maybe I want to go have some pizza. Maybe I, uh... Maybe I like the pizza pizza. I like the pizza pie. I like the pizza pizza. I'm a pizza guy. Andrew Yang style, you know? Uh, 
Okay, okay, let's uh, let's look at the rest of this place before we commit to buying anything. Look at all that haste we can't use. <laughs> Yang got bars. Yeah, fair enough. Okay, I'm gonna get another sack of spiders. Do those stack in this? Hell yeah, they do, baby. Okay, I want these potions of curing. Uh, I want agility. Oh my god, we're playing a good version of the game with agility. Can you feel it now, Mr. Krabs, Andrew Yang, 2020? Okay, we broke now, baby. Uh, Tony, you can... My dude, with the amount of politics that I dump into this channel, you can say whatever you want as long as it doesn't get my fucking account banned. And, uh... Yeah, I agree with that statement entirely. The reality is that Yang's whole uh, single-minded focus on uh, the issue of UBI, while it was uh, a little bit silly in terms of, you know, it basically felt like he was trying to buy votes, uh, the, the, the problem of increasing automation uh, and how that will affect your average person not having shit all useful things to do, you know, we try to act like your average person is suited to do, you know, to sit in a chair in an office all day. Uh, yeah, fuck shrubs. Um, your average person is, like, suited to, to sit in an office all day and make Excel spreadsheets and that this is somehow, like, always going to be useful to society. We need lots and lots of people sitting around on their asses making spreadsheets all day. That's what we need in this world. Um because all of the hands-on work, or a lot of it, has been automated, you know, and it's only, the problem is only going to get worse as time goes on, you know. Uh, and I tell you, people like to make fun of Andrew Yang, and rightfully so, he was incredibly goofy, but that is a legitimate issue. Um, and the idea that we might end up needing something like UBI, I don't know, maybe. Hey, wait a minute, what's going on? Fur sprouts all over your body. I guess we can grow fur now, despite the uh, crab, crab power. Well, that's not, but that doesn't, I think it's only things that mess with slots. Like horns, uh, hooves, things like that. I don't think fur counts. Because it's not dicking around with a body slot. Free crab. <laughs> Sounds lewd somehow. Have I not seen yeti crabs? That sounds terrifying. It's like poking out from in between my, my crab plates. Just tabbing a hellion with a with a scythe and chase speed, no big deal, totally normal. Hmm. That is a hairy crab. Pokemon based on it? I don't believe this is a real thing. We're on Depths 5, we are approaching Zot. It is? Okay. Crabominable. <laughs> the other day I had a, uh, a fake argument with my fiance where, uh, Sometimes I will, uh, you know, like like the like the troll that I am. Uh, sometimes I will adopt uh, fake 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 viewpoints that are incredibly stupid to uh, see how long I can I can do this without uh, her noticing that I am uh, bullshitting. And I tried to convince her that I believed that uh, the the Pokemon, like the original 150, uh, that that those were actually their names in the original um, Japanese. So I was like, you know, Ekans. Ekans backwards a snake. They had that in Japan too, and uh, for <laughs> for some reason she was like, she was actually like actively annoyed <laughs> that that I believed this. <laughs> like it wasn't. Uh, they did like they no. They didn't. They didn't have Japanese words for it. It was just, you know, it was just just like stuff like Ekans and you know, Arbok. <laughs> she was like, no, they changed it. They 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 made up new names for it in English afterwards. Don't you know anything? No, really, it's... God, this is this is just how Pokemon is. God, you're such a noob. 
gonna slap some of this stuff. Hey, we got we got translocations to twenty. Oh my god, I guess we have to take it to like twenty seven. What's going on? It's actually true, so some some of them notably Pikachu. Well yeah, but you'll notice that Pikachu sounds suspiciously Japanese, you know. By the way, I just remembered I've been paying such little attention to this game. Okay, here's my line of thought. You guys might find this funny. I saw the Ziggurat, and a Ziggurat kind of sort of looks like a treasure trove. Earlier, I saw a trove, noticed that it wanted a plus seven demon whip, squirreled that knowledge away in my brain somewhere, and then immediately forgot about it. Um, if I had been paying attention, we would have enchanted one up by now. But uh, instead, I was just like dumping enchant weapon scrolls into an arbalest for no good reason. I just slouched like 18 times there to kill that lich. Uh, yeah, I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna click that goatsy image, sir. I do not trust. I do not trust you after however many six packs you've had. Also, if that actually is goatsy, please do not. <laughs> Please do not post. <laughs> Look at my image instead. I, I, I believe doesn't he would not. Oh, hey, this is a Pokemon. He's a cute guy. All right. This is the Crabominable. It's like the Abominable Snowman, I guess. Yeah, you're a mod, but you're also like a couple of six packs in. Who knows what you're capable of. Okay. It's a neat concept. I mean, you gotta you gotta keep the uh, keep the ideas coming when you're in the Pokemon business, you know. Oh my God, what do I want to do about this guy? I don't have Arlek all the time. Man, fuck it. Uh. Okay, first of all, I usually put silence on L's, so we're going to change that over. Secondly, this guy can be silenced, right? No, I must be thinking of anti-magic. Gosh, it must, must have been a while if I'm making mistakes like that. This is like this is like the death zone right here where I could get double zapped with no Arlek. I've definitely lost characters like that. Goon Crawl being DCSS easy mode. No, that's not... Uh, I mean, yeah, it, it's a little easier in some ways, um, but I don't think that Goon Crawl is the reason that I'm able to fool around this hard on this character. That The reason I'm able to fool around this hard on this character is a combination of um, knowing exactly what to do when my fooling around uh, results in horrid situations, and then on top of that, it's uh, simply playing a Che character with good defenses, you know. I think it is this spell... Looks broke. Can't silence, silence golems. They're not wizards. They just shoot part of their bodies at you. Um, but then again, I guess I guess I am benefiting a rather stupid amount from the uh, permanent buffs. The wide ring of flames. I mean, it's doing a lot for me, but uh, if I wasn't doing this, I would just have like a billion defenses and I'd be using a weapon, you know? Like if I just, if I, instead on this character, if I simply like wore a broad axe and a shield and trained no spells, we would be dominating actually more, you know? Mid game was not prepared for this, that's true. Well, that, that is, I will say this about Goon Crawl, um, the fact that you can throw this shit on at like 71% fail rate uh, is a bit... It's a bit suspect, you know, that's definitely, that's definitely a huge, uh, I mean, like you said, mid-game, the fact that I was able to pull that out at mid-game is, now it's finally taping off, yeah, right. I mean, honestly, even, even here, it's still pretty goddamn useful for just, like, whittling down draconian packs. We have two acquirement scrolls, um, yeah, I mean, that, that was always the, the quintessential argument about whether buffs should be permanent. It's like, well, what about that kind of abuse, you know? Um, and one idea was to just make it disappear if, you're, if your uh, spell power or your chances of success change significantly for the worse. 
And I think that's one decent way to do it. I think that thing you're describing with Hellcrawl sounds okay, I guess. I mean, I'd have to play it to be sure. Um, but yeah, I mean, obviously there's there's uh, some balance issues. What do we want to acquire? I'm tempted to, I'm gonna acquire armor. Okay, a shield, that's a little weird because I don't have any shield skill. Scarf, scarf of resistance. Um, I do not need a scarf of resistance. Lame, I wanted to get like an artifact cloak or maybe a different body armor. Probably should have, I probably should have picked jewelry. Oh well. We have clarity? Oh my god, we have, we have minus scrolls too. <laughs> oh boy. Hmm, okay. Wait a minute, what's happening? Oh shit, my, my arm, my, my spells went away. Why did my spells go away? Did I wear... I did, I did wear body armor. No, no, he dispelled me. He dispelled me. I missed cast Ring of Flames. Here we go. Blink. He's so fast. Yeah, QS to spell. Well, he doesn't have AF to spell, so he can't do that anymore, but he can hit pretty goddamn hard. Uh, yeah, I've always said that these guys, this is secretly one of the most powerful enemies in the whole game um, on account of being able to do that. Why don't we just harp a bit? Please picture the Final Fantasy IV. Edward music in in your head as I I calmly play this uh, harp that's regenerating me while the dragon bites the shit out of me. Beast. Okay. Song of slaying. Chill thread. Infusion. Deflect missiles, which failed to protect us from the bolt. Singularity down to thirty six percent. We're we're getting there. We're doing this, bro. Let's just take a quick look here. Miscast. A gravitational singularity which pulls in enemies of its creator and violently warps them in the process. It also has uh, 13,000 hit points if you want to try to kill it. Your singularity violently warps the Quicksilver Dragon. <laughs> kind of cool. Kind of based. But yeah, the spell is certainly strong, but frankly, I think you deserve a bit of a payoff for... Uh... Oh, you can only have one. Boo! Yeah, I think you deserve a little bit of a payoff for being able to cast level, level 9, you know. Lord British the Singularity. <laughs> you gotta abuse a bug to kill him, bro. Alright, the moment of truth and judgment. Can we do this? Can we kill the Orb of Fire with Singularity and a Scythe of Fire? Uh, I'm gonna say yeah. Probably. <laughs> Level 9 spell strong? What the fuck? Oh yeah, they took out Absolute Zero, and they, uh, I see, like, I always made the joke that Absolutely Zero thought went into that, and I guess they got really mad at me about that, um, and for a long time they refused to change it, even though it was badly designed. Finally, many, many months later, they admitted it was badly designed, and so what did they do? They, they changed it for, like, a level 8 air spell that does the same thing, but takes 3 to 7 turns to, to actually kill the enemy. So, in the same way that, like, Absolute Zero was overpowered in a real stupid way uh, that kind of messed the game up. This spell, I just can't imagine really using it <laughs> under any circumstances. <laughs> I mean, maybe if you're already going for air magic and it's kind of like a speed bump on the way and you just happen to be right next to, uh, I don't know, like Sarabov or something with no other enemies, uh, then okay, fine. But otherwise it just seems uh, sort of goofy. The game was not really designed around uh, spells that instantly or, you know, even delayed, you know, guarantee kill an enemy, you know. 
you haven't seen this new spell, it's called, uh, it's got a really stupid name, Maxwell's something conduit, maybe? No, this is new. Uh, are you in the Weekly Dungeons Discord? They posted about it, and I gave my feedback on it. Uh, or you just if you just look at the commits, I'm sure it's relatively recent. Uh, anyway, Orb of Fire. Should we buff up? I'm just going to try to melee him. Attacking at 1.5 speed, rather slow. Singularity violently warps the Orb of Fire. He gets sucked back towards it. Your body deteriorates rapidly. What's going on, buddy? What do you mean my body deteriorates rapidly? What's going on, big guy? You just, uh, you just tripped my wife. How mutate doesn't give mutations? Fuck you! I would have preferred the mutations. Oh, well, I guess that's a goon crawl thing that I failed to notice. Then again, I didn't even go into slime, so... Your singularity twists the orb of fire apart. Yeah, this is pretty fucking strong, I have to admit. That's doing some, some pretty legitimate damage to him. <laughs> I wonder if they start bouncing into each other if there's a bunch of enemies next to the singularity. On this run, my mutate mutations would have been unnoticeable. Well, yeah, because of the... You know, I'm constantly mutating anyway. Because of the pledge. Miscasting Singularity a lot here. <laughs> yeah, that's not bad. They put Condemn from Final Fantasy, etc. into the game. <laughs> yeah, I guess they did. Watch them put it on an enemy. It's a hard gear check to see if you have a cancellation potion or not. Yeah, that's the thing that I don't understand. Like, what? what, what? Thematically, how does that fit? Quicksilver Dragon memed me again. Through my D-missile, so we'll go and fix that. I almost want to make like a macro that recasts all this crap for me. By the way, I think I'm immune to my own uh, singularity. My singularity implodes. Why'd that happen? Just timed out. Thinking about a charm macro earlier, but it's a bit too silly. It's just like, I don't know. I think it would take me long enough to write it that it would. it's just not worth it for me to not just, you know, do it a bunch of times, you know? Tab, tab, tab. Tab champion 2021. I guess we'll get translocations to 27 and get a fun title off that. Motherfucker, they're doing it again. Ah! <laughs> ye, ye old dispel becomes uh, incredibly obnoxious in Goon Crawl. That is the one downside to this system. If even one spell fails, you have to cast it manually anyway. Spamming the macro would uncast half of it, oh my god. That's true, yeah, uh, D-missile could fail. And then I could, like, mess up and just, like, fat finger the keyboard, you know? I'd like to get Singularity under 10% if possible. That would be pretty rad. So I will full clear Zot, just for the experience, really. Do you guys remember that time I uh, played a Deep Elf and uh, got paid $5 to do pretty much the entire run in an Executioner's Axe? This feels a bit like that with the Scythe. It's just funny because, like... I don't know, like, you, you, you really wouldn't want to do this in an ordinary game, but... All those, like, once you get really good at the game, like, you, you get to do all of those wacky, stupid things that you wanted to do at the beginning but couldn't really win while doing, you know. Could be fun. Uh, the Deep Elf Executioner Axe was on a streak. 
You know, it might have been. I think it actually might have been. I don't want to say that for sure. I don't want to. I don't want to brag if I didn't actually pull that off. But I think. I don't know. Check the streak. There's. A, it's all on YouTube. There, there really shouldn't be more than a couple deep elves, so be easy to find. If you just like jump to the the middle of one of those videos or whatever near the end. Um, but yeah, I think I. I think I might have. <laughs> How pimp is that axe? That's pretty sweet, I guess. I mean, well, it's speed. It's not an executioner's axe, but... I mean, hell, battle axe is good enough. Yeah, that's a that's an amazing axe, actually. Too bad it's contraband. Whoa, did we just found... We just found our first potion of might. Zot 3, first potion of might. How about that, man? It's kind of wild. Forgot to give me that one. Yeah, I guess. Imagine if it was healing. Oh my god. That would be pretty goofy. Okay, Mr. Kirsto. Red poison with no curing. Yeah, because of because of a certain someone suggesting to roll into vaults and then go into the uh, whiz lab. Wonder who that could have been. <laughs> yeah, what a fool! Reasonably able to tap through this bullshit despite the fact that we're using a scythe. And only tin polearm skill. Which will probably do a little something to rectify. Oh hey, we have a spectator. It's just he's anonymous. Gotta shill a little bit here and there. Who I wonder could be watching a goon crawl game randomly? on the server itself. Oh shit, I just realized runs off five. Neat little layout. Very uh, cool little pyramid. It's a goon. Hey, he could be a something awful guy, that's true. Maybe it's Flood Killer himself. Gamma Funk. Oh god. Get the fuck away from me. <laughs> Buy my book at rosecrypto.com while you're at it. Learn about the Brave Web Browser and Crypto. Well, just 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 shell out the five dollars for my book. Come on, man. Or or whatever you want. And you can you can pay zero, I guess. I mean, really, it is it is a pay what you want model for the fantasy novel. Oh, um, little update on that by the way. I finished it a while ago, as you guys may or may not know, and have been uh, hunting for a. For 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 a uh, an artist, you know, to uh, do, draw the second cover for the sequel, you know, and I found somebody finally that uh, I think is appropriate, and I will be I will soon have a second uh, second book cover. What about the EU trying to de-anonymize crypto? I mean, honestly, my 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 opinion of European countries as time goes on. I mean, it is such an obvious tyranny and their citizens just go along with obvious tyrannical bullshit. When I read about that, I mean, first of all, I don't think that legislation has actually gone through yet. And even if it does, it would be like two years until it took effect. Um, but it's in effect, they, they would have to have even more of a police state than they have now to, to enforce such a measure. Um, it feels basically evil to me. Um, I, I am one of those people who thinks that 
that it, that indeed people do have a basic human right to privacy, uh, and financial privacy is included in that. You know, for me. Um, oh my God! Oh, I see. Somebody's trying to. Oh, it's Tony fucking around. Yeah, you shouldn't. You shouldn't do that because uh, if you if you do, I thought somebody was trying to like DDoS me. Basically, that will actually lag the game for a second there. I don't know if you noticed, but it slowed down there. <laughs> Um, Yermak apparently has that happen to him a lot while he's doing tournaments. Like, people try to fuck him up by, like, making four, four bajillion, you know, connections to the server or whatever. Um, of course, that's also liable to get your IP banned from the server if you're doing it maliciously. Not, I don't think you were, obviously. I'm just pointing out that it has that problem. Um, whoops, and they're gone. Frankly, I'm surprised nobody's done that to me. I mean, people have straight-up DDoS servers while I was streaming before just to try to fuck up my stream, you know? Which, uh, you know, is inevitable if you, if you do any kind of public thing, you know? Somebody's going to try to ruin it. Hasn't happened too often though. Do we have do we have double trapped? By the way, twenty seven translocations. Uh, the plain scuttler. This is one of the reasons I wanted to uh, I wanted to get translocations. Is uh, it's uh, it's got a cute little name based on your race sometimes. I think the base one is like Planeswalker or something. But he took the time. This is another one of those little things that goes a long way. He he took the time to make this into the Plane Scuttler. Which, uh... No, I gotta say, I'm impressed. I uh, It seems like such a small thing, but really it's, uh... It is the little things that go a long way. It's probably in race data. Pro yeah, probably. It's probably one of those things that's kind of hard to miss, but still. He could have just copied and pasted it, you know, from, from human, if he was being well and truly lazy. Crab walking sideways through the plains, based. Oh shit, we're lagging a bit. Uh, uh oh, why don't we deal with this the Che way? and slouch these fellas out of mana. Why not Zoid perk? And that's, that's basically what this character is. Oh, we don't have real clown pies to deal with here, so I can, I can play even more fast and loose than, oh my god, what the fuck? is happening why is my max mana four huh am i having a stroke what is happening oh is it because my int went down to 27 and then my max mana is reduced from all the spells that i have cast does does int affect mana i forget My stats are getting reduced real fast, is the thing from this uh, new version of Mammutate. Um, impact spell success rate. Oh, shit! That's what's happening. Oh, fuck. Okay, so if I release permanent buffs, yep, we go right back to 43. That's wild. We still have RF++, even without Ring of Fire, so it's fine. Um, still, that is... That is wild. That is really interesting, the way that that interacts with, with the Malmutate. Okay. Okay, hold up. Let's, uh, let's get real. 
Let's get Rizil here. Uh, I'm going to have to read me a tally. This just got real. Can you explain that again for the slow people to back? Okay, so what happened is... Um, yeah, sorry, I guess I'm leaving a lot out. So in this game, uh, in Goon Crawl, you uh, buff and you get to keep the buffs permanently. Um, but your, uh, your, your... Apparently, it costs more. Okay, so when, when you when you keep the buffs permanently, it uh, it takes away your max mana a little bit. And I thought it was just a static amount, which was the amount that the spell would normally take to cast, like six for deflect missile. But apparently, when the chance of failure of the spell is higher, it actually increases that number. And so when the orbs of fire wrecked my intelligence, my chance of casting went down for every single one of my spells. And as a result, my max mana just went directly into the shitter. Um, taking away, you know, all my mana and bringing it down to four, you know. Um, so when I released all my spells, I got my max mana back. Because intelligence, I don't think it typically affects max mana, but in this case, because of all my buff spells, it was uh, doing that exact thing. Uh, anyway, this is a very horrid situation. Do I have a magic potion? Yes, I do. I'm going to slouch to take out that guy. I'm going to take a step... Take a step. I'm stepping under chase speed because I want my tally to kick in. That's no good. Uh, let's let's drink Agi. I'm gonna read Telly even even though I'm blurry vision. Okay, time to time to play me a song. Do 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 do. Can I survive? Shit. That's amazing. Draconian Monk hits me two exclamation points. My defenses aren't terribly wrecked and I've got I've got Agi on. I'm definitely not out healing this stuff is the thing. Oh, I don't have D missile. Shit, that's why. Well, uh we have to step. I'll die if I don't step. There's nothing else I can do, really. It was a good run. It was a good run. I mean, again, I've done so many outrageously, like, you know, not, not just suboptimal, but, like, anti-optimal things in this run on purpose just for fun. That I'm not, I wouldn't be sad if I died right here. Uh, statue is still there. That's fine. Uh, all that can do is mesmerize me, which it can't. And, well, it can, 3%. I could summon demons, that's okay. Um, but yeah, we have to we have to step from time. Or try. And then we can suck down like six healing potions in a row. He might be teleported away already. Yeah, 17% fail rate's uh, terrifying, but it is what it is. Let's go! Oh, we failed! We failed! <laughs> we actually hit the 17! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> That's okay. I had fun. Um, again, I mean, we were just doing a lot of ridiculous stuff. You got a whole game out of it, basically. I mean, I would have grabbed the, the, the orb and went straight upstairs, so... Um, yeah, no, that's that's a lot of fun though. Goon crawl really, um, yeah, exactly. Great and slam. Goon goon crawl really just like pushes you to do wacky bullshit in your games. Um, and honestly, like I think I have a lot more fun uh, playing like this in, in at least some cases than uh, than than when I'm streaking. I mean, I still think that the most fun game of crawl I ever played was was on a streak. It was the uh, the octopode fire elementalist where i had to basically like use every single trick in the book to play as optimally as possible to fucking survive a hellish uh early game but i mean this is just like i was able to just like uh, play like an ass for most of this game and have a whole lot of fun doing it and you know obviously we we, we could have just like thrown on a broad axe thrown on a shield and had a nice boring tab fest and one but I, I don't know i thought this was i thought this was pretty I, I enjoyed this. Um, if I wanted to beat this situation, though, I should have. Uh, I sh I should have. 
let's see what would what have, what would have been the perfect spot to make this not happen uh you know on this floor i guess yeah i probably around uh let's see can i move the map no i can't uh well where my mouse is like right over over here ish when I walked in here, I should have used this uh, hallway as a choke point and buffed up with agility and might and then fought all that stuff. I had to fight like five orbs of fire in a row, which uh, in an open room is a pretty goddamn poor decision. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've just been kind of gunning gunning forward on this game for uh, most of most of the uh, the stream today. But no, it was great. Um, thank you, Tony, by the way, for the uh, request. Uh, has your... Demon Spawn Mutation meme run been uploaded yet? Uh, you know, I actually discovered a bunch of old uh, DCSS videos that I mistakenly had not uploaded yet, uh, up uploaded yet on this computer, uh, and those will be getting uploaded over the next couple days. So I think yours was in it. I wanna, I wanna say that I. I think that uh, you were the requester for one of those, one of those streams. I know that there's a. Uh, yeah, no, no, it was a demon spawn. It was a mutate. Muta oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It was the demon spawn chaos knight uh, in B crawl where I worship Jeevia and Zom at the same time. Let's see the death screen. Sure. No, you can't see it. Man, what a run! What a run! Scythe, scythe of uh, flaming plus twenty seven <laughs> or plus nine. What a what a wacky, what a what a wacky choice. Using Sigmund's Scythe the whole game. Not not optimal, but uh, certainly funny. Plain Scuttler. Yeah, we got the best we got the best title, so it's okay. King shit. Oh, um, another thing we could have done, a uh, very simple thing that would have would have maybe made things a little bit easier is I could have uh, if I had memorized disjunction, uh, I didn't I didn't brand the scythe with my website. Ah, good point. Um but no, if I had memorized disjunction and cast that uh, after the telly, uh, I would have been I would have been fine. I mean, I still would have gotten probably spit on by the acid draconium, but it would have just like poofed everything, you know, teleported everything away from me, uh, or blinked it at least to where I wouldn't have been getting meleeed while I was harping. I was actually kind of amazed uh, at how much damage I was taking during the uh, during the end there while I was. Uh, using the harp. I mean, I had like 12 evocations, which is not terrible. Um, I seem to remember it healing way more per turn. Maybe it got nerfed. I don't know. I mean, I remember being like stupidly powerful before, but may maybe my last goon call crawl game, I think I may have had like 27 evocations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that makes sense. Cause I typically, I typically go way harder on Evo, but these guys, uh, I think, I think my hermit crab here had like minus two aptitude. So I was being a little lazier about it. Or maybe minus one. It was definitely negative. I guess it's hard to hold a wand in your uh, little crab pincers. Mangled by a soul eater. <laughs> How terrible. Uh, I doubt that the guy is uh, still around who asked for this, but before I close the stream, uh, I am going to show off this screen here because I, I think it's uh, just just so great that they put this into the game. Um, yeah, the 17 pledges. Uh, obtain all 15 runes of Zot before you can pick up the orb. Just marries you to a 15 rune game. Uh, start worshiping Zom. Cannot abandon Zom. So you can just play a Chaos Knight no matter what class you are. Peer pressure. We just played that. Mutate all the time. Oh my god. Forced turn count over here. 50,000 turns only. I haven't seen that one. Uh, cannot pick up the Orb of Zot until you have exited floor 27 of a Ziggurat. It's reasonable. Reasonably easy. Uh, Chaos would allow B-Cross Chaos Knight thing. Oh, that would be cool. That would be cool, Tony. Um, unable to worship the gods. Okay, just an atheist run. Because these are, these are, as best as I can tell, these are actually modeled after uh, traditional conducts, especially things. Some of them actually have the same name as uh, conduct runs, banner banner runs in uh, in the old tournaments, like Nature's Ally was the name of a banner, so was Avarice and a few others of these. Zot clock done, right? Uh, unable to abandon. Well, uh, for B-Crawl, you can worship Zom at the same time as other, other gods. Um, 
if you're a Chaos Knight. So it would be kind of interesting if that same thing was here. Uh, start the game worshipping worshiping Rue. You cannot enter branches other than Lair, Temple, or Abyss until you have abandoned Rue. You may only abandon Rue at full piety. See, that's interesting. So you have to play like a really screwed up character, basically, with, with uh, no benefit. Because you lose the Rue powers, but you keep the, the Rue sacrifices. Ascetic, you can't use potions or scrolls. Incredibly difficult challenge for some characters. Which is, that that's a banner. Uh, unable to raise any skills higher than 13. You will die once you reach experience level 20. Uh, cannot voluntarily leave a floor of the dungeon if a unique monster is alive on the same floor. That's cool. Yeah, permanent ascetic. Actually, the, the banner for this... Uh, if I remember correctly, uh, once once you have gotten the first rune, you've gotten the banner. But uh, with this, it's just like permanent, which is a way harder version of that. I guess I'd probably... Maybe I'd play a mummy. <laughs> uh, let's see, Justice. You cannot pick up the Orb of Zot until all unique Hell and Pandemonium Lords have been killed. Attempting to pick up the Orb will summon a unique Pan Lord... If they are not already dead or summoned. Oh, that's kind of cool. You get like a neat little boss rush at the end. See, like, I, I wish I had known about this stuff, uh, you know, before before I had, had learned so much about this game. Because, like, as a, as a newbie, you know, um, playing this game, not necessarily for the, for the first time, but maybe like, like the, you know, the, after they're like their 20th game, maybe after like their first couple of wins, um, I think something like this would be really cool because it's like, like I said, it's like a boss rush at the end of a, you know, of like a Mega Man game or something, you know, where where you get to, uh, you know, fight fight a series of you know interesting fights that maybe you haven't seen before, you know, or have like twists on them. Um, well, yeah, I don't think these I don't think these difficulty levels are quite accurate. Uh, I would say not being able to use potions or scrolls for the entire game is definitely hard, but look at the hard ones. I mean. Nature's Allies, uh, I've done this one on stream. This is uh, Can't Enter Tomb Until You Have the Orb. So it's Orb Run Tomb, uh, and you can't you can't win until you have the Golden Rune, so you have to go into Tomb. But yeah, we did. That was Tony's last request. Uh, Avarice, I think I've streamed this one. Um, what is this? This is... Uh, yeah, you got to get Iron Rune before you can go to Temple, Lair, Orc, Elf, uh, Depths, Abyss, or Hell. Um, or any of the other... Uh, or wait, no, you can only enter Temple, Lair, Orc, Elf, Depths, Abyss, Hell, and and and, and Dis. So you can't uh, you can't go into the Lair branches, you know. Uh, this is actually a little forgiving compared to the typical um, Depths only challenge. If it was Iron Rune before Depths, you would have you would have to get the. Uh, it would necessitate you getting the hell portal uh, ending in lair. That would be a silly challenge. But I guess, actually, I guess um, since this changes the game itself, I wonder if he could just like force you to get that ending of lair. That could be interesting if if there was a pledge like that. Six runes before depths. Yeah, six runes before depths is cool, but only possible with certain. Um... Well, actually, no. You can, yeah, you can get yeah six runes before depths. You can you can do that without any special. Uh, vaults. Uh, darkness, you cannot enter the branches of lair, orcish mines, or vaults. Yeah, this is, yeah, there it is. That's the, uh, they call it does or dups, where it's uh, depths, um, or dungeon depths, uh, hell zot, or dungeon depths, pandemonium zot. Um, this appears to be a combination of the two where you can go into either. Interesting challenge. Uh, cannot enter the branches of depths or Zod until you've obtained six rune. Okay, that's the one that uh, Mr. Ostrom here was talking about. You did it on a Spriggan once, but died after Pandemonium. That's tough. Darkness would be a base stream. Yeah, we could do that. I mean, I could just, I could make this harder is the thing. We could do like a traditional, um, a does or a dups run where I don't even, um, well, actually, no, no, doing both. That's that. Yeah, no, that that doesn't really make it any harder. It gives me a few more, or it doesn't make it any easier to to do just one. It gives me a few less options, I guess. But being forced to do all of it, in a sense, is harder. Um, does dubs is hard because it bans abyss. Oh yeah, this doesn't ban abyss. 
Yeah, I might like volunt if I were to do this, I might like voluntarily ban Abyss. Um just to make it to make it like a true challenge. You almost you almost have to cheese the game a little bit. Um on, on Dups and Does if you don't go to Abyss. Pick and choose from Pan and Hell also helps. Yeah, that's true. I guess there's nothing well yeah, there's nothing forcing you to do both. This might this might be like a little more interesting if, if you had to do both. Um but I mean, it's how much how interesting do you want it to be? You know, it's already very different than a, than a normal game of crawl. Um, okay, then this last one. Whenever you pick up a rune of Zot, experience divine retribution of a random god, other than the god you are currently worshiping or any gods allied with them. I wonder if that's like a one like a single action, or if it's like you actually get wrath for a long time, permanent wrath after each rune would be really interesting. You just have to live with the permanent wrath. I mean, it would be dog shit, to be honest, because some gods can just sort of instantly kill you or effectively instantly kill you by paralyzing you at the bad of bad moment. Um, but if the wrath system was designed a little bit more, uh, you know, little, a little bit better, uh, you know, that would fit a little bit better with that challenge, that could be interesting. You know somebody who did it with mummy scumming? Yeah. Yeah, um... Well, you'd have to play an older version, uh, one one where uh, things spawn for a little bit. I mean, well, like you could you couldn't you couldn't do it in a version with uh, with the Zot Clock. I don't think in with in that fashion. I think the true way to do it would just be to play a Berserker and just go 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 Zerk down the uh, Stone Giants or whatever you find on Depths One on your Minotaur Berserker, and you probably do okay. Um, I guess I guess that would be like the least interesting way to do it. Um, I don't know. I'd have to think about it. I feel like I've I feel like I've done runs for does dups. Zero point one five with scum of response. Well, yeah. What where whatever the version was before they took away um, the the uh, like the really out of death spawns or the uh, the extra the extra spawns, you know. As time goes on, I did dubs the first time with a che che ant? Wow, Formicid. Whew. I mean, I guess Formicid is kind of a cool way to do it because you can you could just like dump yourself down the hells, you know? Oh wait, no, you said dubs, not does. Yeah, that is insane. <laughs> That's crazy. I would I I hate going into pandemonium with uh with ants with with Formicids. Yeah, okay, well that y'all means I'm tired. Um, I have been streaming for quite some time. And uh, yeah, that's going to be it. Oh yeah, digging in pan is the it's it's the the one way to make pan, you know, less miserable on a on a formacid for sure. Um, that and uh, my my favorite spell disjunction. That'll, that'll help you on a Formicid if you can get it online. Formicid dups run with Kazlal. Ugh. Uh. I mean, it's it's doable. It probably takes several attempts. I mean, I don't know. Depends. Depends how lucky the game wants to be for me. No shields? Well, that's just bullshit. You can't do that. That's... <laughs> All right, I'm going to bed. I uh, Well, I'm going to eat, and then I'm going to go to bed. But, uh, yeah, I do hope you guys enjoyed the stream. Until next time, I am signing out. Did you know that there are many ways that you can help support this channel? Read about them on rosecrypto.com support. At Rose Crypto, you can learn all about cool things like the Brave web browser, Bitcoin, and other cryptocurrencies. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe.